Titanic, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Quit hiding in the bushes now. Come on now, hit that like button, share, and subscribe now. I know you peeping. Quit hiding in the bushes now. Come on now, hit that like button, share, and subscribe now. I know you peeping. from banking but look what's going on we're going to have membership only and in this membership only we're going to have a book club yes a fabulous uh book club is going to be reading in the chapters of black titanic you're going to read about your ancestors you're going to learn a lot about uh history that you don't get in the book but anyway, you guys, sign up now. We want, if you want your book, you want to be part of the book club, you got to sign up now. You got to start purchasing your book. It's $15, you guys. That covered. It's $10 for the book, $5 for shipping and for shipping, right? So get your orders in so we can start. We want to start by September. So the whole month of, um, the whole month of August, when you, you'll be getting your book and you're started. Don't worry now. We're going to use one chapter at a time. We're going to view everybody going to read one chapter at a time and then we will discuss it. Thanks. Thanks. So this is how you do. 
Black Titanic 65 at yahoo.com. Black Titanic 65 at yahoo.com is going to be my email address. So, you know, you uh, you guys will be able to uh, remember it, right? Black Titanic 65 at yahoo.com. So let me zoom in on this. Black Titanic, African Abor, right? Read about this wonderful woman, Aunt Mary. She's everybody auntie. Aunt Melinda, I mean. Aunt Melinda, we will be sharing Aunt Melinda's stories. We're going to have a great time, you guys. Anyway, I want the whole world to know about my auntie who died on the Titanic. Thank you. Don't forget. Get those orders in so we can get started on the book clubs. Members only. We got to start a members only. Now it's going to only be $2.99. Hey, hey, hey. Good afternoon. One thirty-three, my time. My neck of the wood. Huntsville, Alabama. What time of it in your neck of the wood? Hello, everyone. How are you guys? Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Yes, a great day. Hopefully, everybody put my eyeballs on so I can see what y'all saying over there. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you guys for being here. Y'all know... um, Something going on with all these people on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's a shame. This entire month, they've got the whole uh, the court system booked up. You got, uh, of course, you had Stormy kicked it off on January. The uh, Not January. She kicked it off on this page right here. October the 9th. October the 9th, Stormy still was in, in that courtroom, that same old courtroom, October the 9th. And the old Dominion Freak line was suing her. They got a judgment of $12,804.72 plus the court card. So she kicked it off, you guys. Yeah, she kicked it off. Then she kicked it off again, y'all. Today, today is what? August the 23rd, 23 and 3. Now, y'all, I thought I was going in there for that First National Bank. Last time I went down there, I thought it was First National Bank. But it ended up being old Dominican freak. This time I said, well, surely this this one's going to be First National Bank, but it's Executive Financial Enterprise. This girl right here, Love and Marriage Huntsville right here. They got all these fake stories, fake storyline. This is, look, y'all, Stormy Still. All these fake People, fake millionaire. Do y'all remember when Stormy first came on? She was telling somebody, was it Destiny or or, or somebody? You ain't got enough to come for me. You ain't got enough to come for me. Well, obviously, you don't pay your bills, Stormy. But you don't have the money to pay your bills. Then you got uh, tomorrow, 8 24th will be tomorrow will be uh melody is taking martell thanks gradually y'all hit hit that like button tomorrow 8 24 it says the plaintiff is uh melody so she must be asking for some kind of modification or something but melody is taking Martell back to court. Of course, y'all heard about Martell and his court case. Y'all heard. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, y'all need to go over there to ATA. ATA and did, uh, she got the audio of the uh, of the um, Martell lawyer, y'all. <laughs> ATA got, 
I was, I saw Auntie Ann over there. I'm like, Lord, this woman, no, she come up with the tea. She, y'all go over there and listen at that. She got the audio. Uh, who was it? Brown, brown skin girl. She showed the, um, the paperwork or the document where Martell Hope's lawyer said that he was withdrawing from the case. For, unperfect, for professional reasons. So when he said that, you guys, I thought it was something Martell had did because you knew Martell. He had said that he blowed up on his lawyer because he didn't want to pay the lawyer fees, right? <laughs> said Martell got the throwing chairs. In other words, Martell had a, tent, a, a temper tangent on his lawyer. But to come to find out the lawyer is just like him. The lawyer did this job, been doing some illegal stuff himself, so he got disbarred. It 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 really uh if you go over there on AN, it tells what, what happened, what happened to the lawyer, why they disbarred you. Yes, that lawyer, but anyway, so Martel. Y'all know last time I went to that, that uh, court, which is Judge Allison Court, is where they're going to be at again tomorrow, you guys. It is uh, the ch same child custody judge that they had before. A lot of y'all say that, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Queen, Queen Sheba broke the news. Let me see what she, I want this right here. Patricia Ellis Robin. It better pop up. That's that's in potential. I was trying to find uh it went so by so fast, but seeming like she uh anyway in potential it says whoever at this point claims to Martel is as sick as he is. Yes. Well yeah, Patricia. Okay. Think I got it. Yeah, she said Queen Sheba broke the news on Martel publishers. And about the lawyer is a fraud, and he has been disbarred. Yeah, oh, that birds of the feather flock together, y'all. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember Auntie Ann saying that a while, while, while back that this is spiritual, spiritual weakness. How the hell you gonna get the damn? You got you got all the cast mate. We're gonna exclude Melody, and then now you got a wicked lawyer too. I do know one thing about these demonic spirits. They call out to each other. They know each other by the spirit. So they start mingling with each other. But yes, uh, Patricia, he was disbarred, they say. And then when he said that he had to quit off the case because of professional reason, that's what he meant, allegedly. But I, I was thinking, I think everybody else thought that it was because Martell didn't have no money to pay him. But uh, I guess Martell probably want his money back now, y'all. <laughs> Martell gonna say, give me my money back because what you did, I bet y'all Martell gonna ask for his money back because y'all know how Martell is. Yeah. Okay, so then you got, that's Martell and... Um, and Melody, they going, we just going to don't know what's going on. I, I know one thing, Mel got the upper hands on him this time because they had so, you had coleslaw coming out, talking about some she be babysitting the kids. You had uh, Belinda coming out, said she be keeping the kids. Belinda says she that bonus mom. Uh, coleslaw say she is the mom. So, and then don't forget the other guy. I, I'm not gay bashing, but he was a gay young man, said that he be keeping false babies sometimes too. So, I don't know his name, but that, that's who he was. So, y'all, she got the upper hand on it. And then don't forget the revenge, the revenge Pete. She got that too. So, she got it. She, she, she coming in there this time with weapons. Some of you asked me, was I going down there? I was down there today. But I don't think I'm going down there tomorrow. Ain't no sense of going down there. They, they, let me tell y'all something, but they don't play with this child protective stuff. 
that you cannot go in that courtroom. The rest of the courtrooms, you can go in. It's open to the public. But when it comes to children, they don't play that. They want to let you in the courtroom. And you see you asking them nothing, they ain't going to tell you nothing neither. They'll just tell you everything is private. So I'll be wasting my time if I go down there. Now, the only thing, the way I think I want to go down there is catch my tail. So I can put the cameras in his face. That's the only thing I'm thinking about, y'all. <laughs> I guess that's being dirty, but I can't stay in my tail. I wish I could just get down there while he going up them stairs and flash that camera in his face and just, just to see the expression on his face. But y'all know what? I don't think he going to show up. Last time he was a no show, y'all. Y'all know that, don't y'all? He was a no show. Hey, Brandon Lee, all the content creators, you guys are welcome. I don't have much for y'all. I'm finna get started. I'm finna show y'all what I got. Right? I'm gonna start with Love and Marriage Huntsville first, and then I, then the other part of the show gonna be um, land grabs from our ancestors like miss jenkins i don't know if y'all know about her she's a black lady that owned a whole island y'all a whole island this black woman I, and they took it from her and today they got all kinds of uh of uh, 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 what restaurants suburban homes big mansion on her land and the woman died broke so we're gonna do that and we're gonna talk about we're going to talk about Luther and his book. When that mob went in there and they wanted Luther land. These are true stories, y'all, out of my book, The Black Titanic. Now, you people, that's, uh, we're going to start the uh, book club in September. Y'all give me to the mid-September because I'm still moving. I can't get out of here to about September the 3rd is when I can leave, y'all. So uh, I had to get home to Georgia and get settled. So I'm thinking maybe about the 19th of September will be our first day that we will start the book club. Thank y'all for ordering books. Thank you guys for whoever gave me cash app sometime. And thank all of y'all for supporting this old lady. Okay, I'm going to call shout out some names and then I'm going to get started with, with what I got. I'll tell y'all what I got in a minute. Let me just say hi to everybody. Sharon saying good afternoon. Of course, hey Sharon. Linda Gamble speaking. Uh hey, trending at some point. Hey, babe, welcome here. She said, Veronica Monroe, good. I'm good. Now that's all I got to say. <laughs> Hi, Miss Trinity. <laughs> Miss Reese. Hey, babe. Hi, Trinity. At some point. So you guys are socializing with with each other. May may. Hey, Carl McGill. Hey, y'all, what y'all think? Y'all, y'all know what really pissed me off when uh that love and marriage Detroit. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all about my son. My son uh go to court uh the August the 28th with Zen Guy. And I know y'all waiting on that. Zen Guy, y'all, that's the child of the century. You know, everybody want to know what's going to happen to that. Zen, they got a, a, a August the 28th with Zen Garden. Then about two or three weeks later, another one with Zen Garden on the 15th. Yeah, so they we got they y'all gonna be filled with court cases for the next month with this love and marriage hunt fear cast. But y'all know I can't miss this Zen guy, and I just can't miss that. And that's open to the public, y'all. All right, uh, Veronica. Hey y'all. Okay, let me let me get started. If it start freezing up, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it from what I got on my phone. If this stuff don't act right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. So y'all gonna be disappointed with what I got. <laughs> y'all, that storm is storm is storm is still. Oh boy, storm is still being sued again in court. Oh, whoa. 
Thomas says, Thomas says she a multi-millionaire. She came on the scene. Yeah, ain't nobody got enough to come after her. Do y'all remember that? Like she got all, and then she be posing with all that money, be owing people. That's that money she owed most of these people that she won't give their order. She dancing with the money. Anyway, all things are allegedly, everything's for entertainment and educational purposes, y'all. And just my opinion, and just my co-host's opinion. I hope it don't freeze up. If not, then we'll do it from my phone. So hope you guys having a good day. Today. Titanic, hit that like button, share and subscribe. Titanic. Hey, so this is Black Titanic. This is what I know about Stormy Kings. This is Judge Karen Hall. This is what she was scheduled at. And of course, it's been canceled because she came in, Stormy came in the day before, filed for continuation. And also, she said that, um, according to the paperwork, some kind of settlement that she discussed that she wanted to do. So they gave her 45 days to come up with the money. And um, it's, uh, let me get my paperwork out here. You guys, just do an old everybody. So, see, the paperwork it is executive financial enterprise right incorporated right uh, that's who that is and again what was counsel she came down the day before i was here and i was ready to have her serve uh yeah i had the shelves on duty they were ready to serve her. so i'm on you doing now you're not going to escape, Mr. Ryan. I'm on you, right? Anyway, mm. you know guys, right. as you can see, there's no court on this session. It's a whole circuit to it. Actually, she will have to go to trial. It's a trial. A trial, judge, y'all. Yes, but she could. She um, filed a continuation. Also, uh, yeah, also, you guys see, empty. Nobody is in the empty. Nobody is in the courtroom because she can't. She came down here the day before. I don't know how she worked it out, but she did get a continuation where she, they give her 45 days, y'all. And she'll come back to court in 45 days. Um, so, um, anyway, you guys, there is the. Oh, I hate this thing. How love and marriage Huntsville got all these fake millionaires except for Melody. Melody don't brag that she's a millionaire, never. But uh, Stormy claims she is a millionaire, you guys. She was just in court earlier this month. Masu is scheduled uh, for court uh, August the 28th. Uh, this is Black Titanic. Yes, I'm actually down here at the courtroom. Judge Ellison has Austin. This will be the court. Yes, this is Allison S. Austin. Okay, you guys, this is Black Titanic. I'm down here at the courthouse. I came down here to have um, 
stormy sir in person but once again she canceled she they was ahead of time yeah they was stormy they were here waiting for you stormy you can only hide for so long you guys but anyway this is where Mel will be tomorrow. Her and my tail. Let me sit down, you guys. Yeah. Uh, her and my tail will be here tomorrow in Judge Allison's courtroom. Right? She is a family court. She specializes in abuse, cases of abuse children. Also, this is the same judge that they had last time says that melody may be the plaintiff so she may be asking for a modification uh, with the judge again this is black titanic i'm trying to the courthouse uh, i won't come back tomorrow you guys there's no need for me to come back tomorrow i won't infringe on this lady's um, privacy that I have her privacy with her children. Also, um, Storm, I was really down here for Storm and Steel, but um, Storm and Steel, let me read to y'all what it says. It says that in the circuit court of Madison County, Alabama, Executive Financial Enterprise, Chad, I don't know who this is. Let me see if y'all see it. Executive Financial Enterprise is the plaintiff versus Ken New Beauty Brand. So I don't know who the hell this is, you guys. Anyway, it says that the cause comes before the circuit upon the joint motion to continue. The motion to continue or file the parties of August the 22nd, 2023. So they came in yesterday, the day before, and uh, we got a continuation, you guys. That seemed to be a habit of those coming in the day before the court. After careful review of saying it appears to the court that the parties are in the process of settlement and requested additional time to execute and submit settlement documents. So I guess uh, Storm made a promise that she was going to pay them later. As such, it is order of judge and uh, decree that settlement documents be filed with this court within 45 days. Fake millionaire, fake millionaire. Hey, you guys, this is Black Titanic. So we're looking at all these fake people on Love and Marriage Huntsville. They coming up, they're flexing. Uh, first thing Stormy said when she came on the scene, and ain't nobody got enough to come after her. But right here, this is what we're dealing with today, right? We do know this is Canvas Beauty bank, uh, product, and I thought it was going to be the first national bank, you guys, but it wasn't the first national bank. It is Executive Financial Enterprise Incorporated versus Canvas Beauty, right? The cost, the, the cost comes from the court upon the joint motion to continue. So she she got to continue, you guys. Filed by the parties on August the 22nd, 2023. So she went in a day before. This has seemed to be a habit of hers because she did it with the, uh, uh, one of these people in the old Dominican Freak. Let me see if y'all can see that. Hopefully that better show up. Old Dominican Freak, whatever. Whatever, you guys. I'm just trying to establish something, y'all. But anyway, they got a judgment of $12,804. What she did was settle the day before. 
What day is this, you guys? August the 9th, 2023. Oh, this millionaire now. This is supposed to be a millionaire. She's supposed to be the queen of love and marriage, Huntsville. She's supposed to be the fan favorite, but yet can't pay a bill. $12,804 is what? Old Dominican freak. Old Dominican freak, you guys. The judgment is right. I don't know if y'all could see that $12,000. I'm just showing y'all, it's $12,804 judgment that she got from them. She owed them, right? So here it is, what, two weeks later, a week later? Here it is, August the 20th, 2023. Let me start all over, y'all. The calls come before the court upon a joint motion to continue filed by the parties on August the 22nd, 2023. After careful review of same, it appears to the court that the parties are in the process of settlement. So they went in there and she promised these people that she's gonna pay them, right? She's in the process of settlement and request additional time to execute and submit settlement documents. So if you are a millionaire, a multimillionaire at that, on how many acres of land and all of that you was bragging about, why is it that you have to ask for, for them to give you time to pay them? 45 days they gave them. As such, it is ordered, a judge, and decree that settlement documents be filed with this court within 45 days. They gave her extension, 45 days to come up with her money. Miss Millionaire, Miss Multimillionaire, you don't have the money to pay these people. Why did it have to come to court? Why can't you pay these people? Anyway, failure you to provide such a resort in a dismissal of this cause of action. So, yeah, so the other parties agreed to let her extend 45 days. You got some grace, girl. Yes. Further, the trial of the matter scheduled for August the 23rd, 2023 is hereby canceled. Done this 22nd day of August by Karen A. Hall Judge. Now that that is that that is the biggest courtroom there is, y'all. Yeah, the big, 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 big courtroom where they where where she had to go actually on a trial. So and then I did let's let's just let me read to y'all about the other one in the circuit court of Madison County. This was August the 9th of, of 2023, Old Dominican Freak Line versus Canvas Beauty Brand. Miss Millionaire, Miss Millionaire, whoa, you don't pay your bills? It is hereby ordered that a consent judgment be entered in the cause in favor of the plaintiff and against the debt. In the storm is still twelve thousand eight hundred and four dollars and seventy two cents plus the court case. You court cost you guys. I don't know y'all gonna can see that. I'm gonna put it up there anyway. Let me let me see. I'm gonna make sure y'all y'all see that. Put it up there anyway. Yeah, twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. Twelve thousand. 800 and some dollars. I'm branding down and just trying to make sure y'all see. Oh, freak, somebody. Is it on that side or is it on this side? Chad, Chad, Chad. So she didn't show up, you guys, again today. I was there storming. I was there stormy, but I, but I got it. Now you're going to come the day before I was there stormy because it's never going to be. I just want to see them. Like how you cursed me out that day. I want to see them take you in handcuffs. 
I wanted to be loud. I mean, just loud. They had three great, big old, big old, clear people. They were ready. Even. Three big giants, heavy set, clear people were ready. Oh, they were ready for you. Anyway, y'all, but she didn't show the day before she canceled. So that's what's going on with her, this multi-millionaire. Now, she did have that article came out, y'all. I, I might still have it, that she was the queen. That is no that that we 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 are confused about who's the queen of love and marriage, Huntsville. We're confused about who, who's the fan favorite. Well, not this fan. You're not my favorite. Seems like you're a favorite in that court because you sure do pay a lot of court case down there in Madison County Courthouse. Anyway, y'all, this is it. Now, uh, the next up, Marceau and the Scots and Zen Garnet went on July the 31st. They went on that discovery. I didn't go down there. I, I went here July the 31st. I was in Atlanta. But August the 28th would be the Scots. Yeah, Zen Garden Battles versus the Scott, y'all. I can't leave. I got to stay here for that. I was going to leave at the end of that week, but I have got to stay here for that Zen Garden trial, y'all. I got to. I got to. <laughs> anyway, this is Black Titanic. Hit that like button. Share and subscribe. And Miss Storm is there. You ain't got enough to come for me. You ain't got enough to come for me. Well, it look like you ain't have enough to pay uh, pay these people because you begging them to give you 45 days extension. Lord, love and marriage, Huntsville, all these people coming on here with their fake storyline, their fake lifestyle. Everybody except for uh, Melody. Oh, yeah, Storm in the community said they ain't even got a pencil or eraser or sharper or even a 99, 99 cent pack of paper from you. Wait a minute. You guys, I'm down here in front of Judge Allison's office right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yes, this will be tomorrow. Yes, this will be right here at Judge Allison. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be Judge Allison right here in the courtroom. I'm passing her. Judge Allison is the family. She will, this is the court that uh, they will be here tomorrow. Good morning. But not they. I'm losing my train of thought, you guys. Tomorrow, Judge Allison will be uh, Melody and my kid. I'm on too long, y'all. Oh, I gotta go. I'm inside the court. Yeah, so I did stop by Judge Allison. Let's see what this say, y'all. Let's see what this will say, y'all. Let's see what this will say, y'all. Run this over from y'all on my phone because it keeps. But anyway, I did stop by Judge Allison. That will be tomorrow. We do know that. Um, let me see what this is, y'all. Titanic. As you can see, I'm down here at Madison County Courthouse, you guys. Yes, this is the day. is storming still court day. I think you know what? We got the entire of love and uh, of marriage Huntsville um, court this month. You got Storm and Steel, which is today. Scheduled Judge Karen Hall. Uh, she's a circuit judge. And then you got um, Melody. Uh, and tomorrow, Judge Allison Court. That's family court. Then you got Marceau. Uh, Spokes versus Zen Garden. August the 28th. So as you can see, it's all happening right here at the downtown courthouse in Huntsville, Alabama.
Okay, you guys, to the loop. I gotta go on the inside. I gotta go on the inside. I got business to handle. I don't know. This Donna gonna show up in court today. Last time I got here, she came the day before and she settled uh, a judgment with some type of free company. I forgot who it was. Well, don't know what the storm in the court for today, but probably somebody else is suing her. Anyway, this is Black Talk Tandy. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And remember, all this month, love and marriage has still passed Mason in the uh, courtroom. Mel Melody Sheree is the plaintiff. So it seems like that means that she is taking uh, her ex husband, Montel, back to court, family court, maybe a modification. Then you got Storm, of course, she's always in court because somebody always suing her. And then that's today, 824, with Judge Karen Hall. Then again, I repeat, August the 28th, Zen Garden versus Scopes. Anyway, all happening right here at the courthouse. I'm tuning off, you guys. Yeah, let me see what I got for, uh, I want to read this to you guys uh for zen garden it says that um says that i'm just gonna read the date this is marceau and um the scots okay it says that that discovery was due on uh 7 31 2023 Discovery is when you go in there and you present your uh, your evidence. This is my evidence, and then the part, the other party presenting theirs. Uh, this this disposition, and then the disposition motion is due by eight twenty eight twenty twenty three, and then witness and exhibit. Now the witness and exhibit the real tribe gonna be due September the 15th, 2023. So now it was uh then October 2023 also. So October 2023 is coming up. So they got a trial. The 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 big Zen. Oh God, I, I won't even be here. Well, I might come back down for that, y'all, to cover the, those trials for you guys. Because that I've been so interested in this big, big trial, Zen Garden versus uh, the Scots. And, uh, yeah, so let's just say what we say, y'all. Keep that in mind. 731, that's already passed. I, I didn't go to that one. Uh, 828, August the 28th. So that's uh what's the day the twenty fourth and four more days. Four more the days. Scots will be in court with Zen Garden, you guys. Yes. And then they say they'll come come around again September the fifteenth. Well, that's like two more weeks later, September the fifteenth, twenty twenty three, Zen Garden will have them back in court. Trial better be ready by October 2023. Now, I had signed by Judge uh, Linwood Smith on 4-17-2023. Now, look, they have, uh, uh, the Scots have exhausted all their continuation. Uh, May the 17th, 2023 was when this judge ordered these future court dates that I have just read off with y'all. They have no more chances. They're going to have to either, you, you're going to have to come on through here and that's what you're going to have to do. So that's going to be the big trial with Judge Lynn. And then all these trials are coming from the circuit court. Yes, it's from the circuit court. So, and then what, let's, let's talk about what we know about Martell Hopes. We do know that Martell Hopes, let's see if I can find it in here. We do know that Martell Hopes has been summoned back to come to trial, you guys. Uh, the plaintiff, who is Melody Sherry? Melody Sherry is not going to play with him. Melody have already told him that you started this and I am going to finish this. This was by Brown Sugar 
brown sugar girl. I don't know if y'all can see this. This is on um, Martel's uh, lawyer. Let's see what this says. Brown sugar girl motion to withdraw. It says that uh, Mr. Lambert, counsel for the defendant, Martel Laver Holtz, and uh, he moves the, to the honorable court to allow him to withdraw as counsel in the case of Martel Holtz. Counsel is unable to continue to represent the defendant due to professional issues that have arisen. Professional uh, uh, issue that has arisen, we thought that it was Martel being unprofessional. Martel did admit that he had a temper tantrum, you guys. He admit that, yeah throwing chairs and stuff in there. But then later on, we found out this, judge, this lawyer had been doing some crooked stuff behind the scenes, you guys, allegedly, and had been disbarred. So two, it said, wherefore premises considered undersigned counsel pray that this honorable court will grant his request to withdraw from the case to allow the defendant to obtain new counsels on the 20th day of July the 23rd. And this by Brown Sugar Girl. Yeah, Brown Sugar Girl. And also, let me tell y'all some. Uh, uh, y'all go to Aunt Ann. Y'all know Aunt Ann always got the tea. Aunt Ann got an audio over there, you guys. So, yeah, I was listening to that audio this morning of, of, of that same lawyer. So what we have here is that that lawyer had been disbarred for doing some illegal stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to tell y'all something. I remember when I first saw Aunt Ann over there, she was talking about those people being, it was, it was just not what you see with your eye, but it was spiritual spiritual weakness and i agree with her this is spiritual weakness all these people in one spot demons call out to each other you got these same demons calling on out to each other on down to the lawyers you guys anyway that's what i wanted to say that's the countdown on, on love and marriage huntsville all this month, all of them will be going to court. Now, Melody is taking somebody to court. Nobody not pulling her in court. So, I y'all, I don't know about tomorrow. Like I will say, you know, there is no need for me to go down there. You're not allowed to go into the family court. You, you're not allowed to ask them anything. They're not going to tell you anyway. The things I only thing I could do if I go down there uh, be similar to what I did before, maybe take pictures far distance uh, of Melody while she walking in the, in the courtroom. But if I see my my tail, that's the only thing that's driving me there. So I can get that camera and put it up in his face. Well, they, and that's what I want to do so bad. I want to just get that camera and so y'all could just see him. Anyway, y'all, I, I, I don't think Martel is going to show up tomorrow. I believe Martel going to be a no show. That's what I believe. But until tomorrow, y'all see the cameras, the, the things say lie. Y'all know. I done got my butt up and went on down there to the courtroom. But again, Stormy um, came the day before and uh, she reached agreement. This millionaire don't have the money. This millionaire over there big and trying to give her enough time to get some money up so she could pay them. So they gave her 45 days. Y'all, I don't know who these people are. I'm going to look them up, but uh, I had Pinky to look them up for me while I was riding down the road, but I'm not clear to who these people are. 
Oh boy, again on August the 22nd, she went in there the day before, which was today. She was subject to, to I'm on storm in there to go to court with uh, Judge Karen. And this is Executive Financial Enterprise. Uh, and then the other one earlier this month, uh, August the 9th, was Old Dominion Freight Line. This is that that so-called millionaire. Again, we got the love and marriage Huntsville cast member all just soaking up the courtroom all this month. Yeah, y'all know they did that in April too. Every last one of them was in court April. I made it to one of them that was what took my souls. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna uh I don't like uh Oh, let me finish, let that get finished. Okay, you guys, uh, I'm gonna uh, just show you, um, I'm gonna show y'all, I don't like the way that froze. I, I don't like the way that froze. So y'all give me extra five minutes. Hey, Debbie, you on here? Let me let me show stuff from my phone because that's freezing and I, I just don't like it. So I'm going to show y'all the stuff from my phone right now. Y'all get the nick of what, what's going on. So I'm just going to show y'all from the phone. So let's start right here. As you can see, I'm down here at Madison County Courthouse. You guys, yes, they're going to have a hearing today. Um, and it's still court day. I, you know what? We got the entire a love and uh, a marriage Huntsville um, court this month. You got Stormy Steele, which is today scheduled Judge Karen Hall. Uh, she's a circuit judge, and then you got um, Melody uh, and tomorrow Judge Allison Court. That's family court. Then you got Marcel uh, Sports versus Zen Garden, August the twenty eighth. So as you can see, it's all happening right here at the downtown courthouse in Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, you guys, to the move. I gotta go on the inside. I gotta go on the inside. I got business to do. I don't know. It's only gonna show up in court today. Last time I got here, she came the day before, and she settled uh, a judgment with some type of free company. I forgot who it was. Well. I don't know what's the storm in the court for today, but probably somebody else is suing her. Anyway, this is Black Talk Tiny. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And remember, all this month, love and marriage has still passed me, sorry, in the uh, courtroom. Mel Melody Cherie is the plaintiff, so it seems like that means that she is taking uh, her ex husband Montel back to court family court maybe a modification then you got storm of course she's always in court because somebody always suing her and then that's today 824 with george karen hall then again i repeat august the 28 zen garden versus scopes anyway all happening right here at the courthouse i'm tuning off you guys come on keep it rolling that's because it kept Freezing. I want y'all to really see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna keep it rolling. Okay, this is Black Titanic. I'm looking for Judge Karen Hall. Looking for Judge Karen Hall. That's when I first stepped in there. Uh, we're looking for Judge Karen Hall. Uh, there she goes, second floor, courtroom one. And while well, I'm at it, you guys. While I'm at it, you guys, I'm down here in front of Judge Alice and I'll right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yes, this will be tomorrow, will be right. Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow will be Judge Allison right here in the courtroom. I'm passing her. Judge Allison is the family. Will, this is the court that uh, they will be here tomorrow. Good morning. 
I'm not bad. I'm losing my train of thought, you guys. Tamara, Judge, Allison, uh, Melody, and my kid. I'm on too long, y'all. I gotta go. I'm inside the courtroom. Just keeping it rolling because it kept freezing up on y'all. Let's see what this one is. Hey, y'all, this is Glad Tide Tannin. Yes, I'm actually down here at the courtroom. George Ellis and Austin. This will be the court. Yes, this is Allison S. Austin. Okay, you guys, this is Black Titanic. I'm down here at the courthouse. I came down here to have um, Stormy serve in person. But we must again, she canceled. She, they was ahead of time. Yeah, they was Stormy. They were here waiting for you, Stormy. You can only hide for so long, you guys. But anyway... This is where Mel will be tomorrow. Her and Martel. Let me sit down, you guys. Yeah. Uh, her and Martel will be here tomorrow in Judge Allison's courtroom. Right? She is a family court. She specializes in abuse, cases of abused children. Also, this is the same judge that they had last time says that melody may be the plaintiff so she may be asking for a modification uh, with the judge again this is black titanic i'm turning out the courthouse uh, i won't come back tomorrow you guys there's no need for me to come back tomorrow i won't bring friends um this lady's um Privacy. I can't do that, you guys. Let her have her privacy with her children. Also, um, I was really down here for Stormy Steel, but um, Stormy Steel, let me read to y'all what it says. It says in the Circuit Court of Madison County, Alabama, Executive Financial Enterprise. Chad, I don't know what it says. Let me see what y'all see. Executive Financial Enterprise is the plaintiff versus Can New Beauty Brand. So I don't know who the hell this is, you guys. Anyway, it says that the cause comes before the circuit upon a joint motion to continue. Motion to continue or file the parties of August the 22nd, 2023. So they came in yesterday, the day before, and uh, got a continuation, you guys. That seemed to be a habit of those coming in the day before the court. After careful review of saying, it appears to the court that the parties are in the process of settlement and requested additional time to execute and submit settlement documents. So I guess uh, Storm made a promise that she was going to pay them later. As such, it is order of judge and uh, decree that settlement documents be filed with this court within 45 days. Keeping it rolling, you guys, because it kept freezing on y'all. Hey, okay, so this is Black Titanic. This is what I know about Stormy Case. This is Judge Karen Hall. This is where she was scheduled at. And, of course, it's been canceled because she came in. Stormy came in the day before, filed for continuation. And also, she said that, um, according to the paperwork, some kind of settlement that she discussed that she wanted to do. So they gave her 45 days to come up with the money. And um, it's, uh, let me get my paperwork out here. You guys, uh, this girl owe everybody. So, see, the paperwork it is executive financial enterprise right incorporated right uh, that's who that is and again what was counsel she came down the day before i was here and i was ready to have a 
serve. Uh, yeah, I had the shells on duty. They were ready to serve. Them. So I'm on you, Stormy. You're not gonna escape me, Stormy. I'm on you, right? Anyway, guys, as you can see, there's no court on this session. Circuit judge. Actually, she would have to go to trial. Trial judge, y'all. Yes, but she could. She uh, filed a continuation. Also, uh, yeah. Also, you guys see, empty. Nobody is in the empty. Nobody is in the courtroom because she can't. She came out here the day before. I don't know how she worked it out, but she did get a continuation where she did give her 45 days, y'all. And she'll come back to court in 45 days. Um, so, um, anyway, you guys, there is the. Yep, that's that. You know what? The love and marriage, Huntsville. And the, here is the document right here, you guys. That's that's the document. Love and marriage, Huntsville cast member, all fake. They're fake, you guys. All of them fake, and then they got the nerve to try to be little and 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 talk about melody. Now let's let's get on. Let's 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 get on. Uh, Mr. Scott there. It pissed me off when I saw that. I, I don't really I, y'all know the hey Ebony the best and it all trendy at some point. All you content creator uh, thank y'all for being here. But what pissed me off when that guy said that my soul the king of the scammers in Huntsville put Huntsville on the map. Did y'all see that? Hey, ADR, good afternoon. He said that my soul put Huntsville, Alabama on the map. Huntsville, Alabama been known as the educated town, the town where you come and, and get educated. It's a small town. Everybody comes here to get educated, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know Alex Haley. He graduated from Alabama A&M. He's the one that wrote Roots. You got so many notables that come here to this college and this town. In this town, you got the Space and Rocket Center. Everything that's made up in space is made here in this town. My soul ain't put that on no map. Any missiles that they that 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 goes up in the air or any war, any kind of war weapons is made here. Now, only downfall about that, if there was ever a war, they're going to hit Huntsville first because that's just the nature of war. You're going to hit where they make they, all their weapons at first. That would be the downfall of living here if it was ever a war where they came over here. Yes. So you got all this, all this greatness around you. And here this man going to contribute the biggest scammer in Huntsville as putting this man on, on putting Huntsville on the map. Bro, I mean, uh, Carlo, you need to pay me because they weren't even watching that show here. Melody told y'all that. Huntsville people weren't watching that show. They started watching it because a lot of people know me here. I thought I was talking, yeah, I'll be trying to encourage them to, uh, you know, like my blogs and stuff. And so now there's people that a lot of people watching now, but it used to be before I started blogging when none of them watching. So you need to put me on your payroll, Carlo. Okay, you guys, we're going to we're gonna talk about this and then we'll go into the black history. The black history is going to be about Miss Jenkins that owned that island, y'all. We had a lot of black entrepreneurs back in the day. Well, yeah, we were segregated. Yeah, she owned a whole island, y'all. Miss Jenkins did. And then you had Mr. Crawford. He was the richest black man. I think of like 1900, the early 1900s. He was the richest black man. He was the richest man, period, in the United States, Mr. Crawford. 
When they went in there, you know, they didn't like that. They they lynched him. Because why? Because he was rich and they were jealous. All right, let's go ahead on and talk about what we're gonna do. We'll go to the black history next, okay? But I'm not, not gonna I'm not gonna throw no link until I get finished with my black history because uh it's just gonna work out better for me. Calling people up before I'm finished don't work too good. Hello, Impotential, Sexy Mama at 60, May May, Scorpio MZ, and uh, let's start with Diana. Diana, according to CK, all cast members in court is black. Excellent. Yeah, you know, he got this thing where he wants to put out that all these people are black. Excellent. Thank you, Diana Flew. He sure do. He sure do. Every time he talks about, especially the black men's on the show, they black excellent. He hardly rarely, uh, Melody is the one that's doing everything. He he don't never talk about her accomplishment. Y'all just seen the lady got a network, Nubian network, and don't forget that other network she got. He, I, he hasn't said anything about it. I haven't seen him even call her up and congratulate her. He could even just write in the chat, congratulations. Uh, Jeanette, is she not selling enough of that glaze? Guess she should pair it with coffee by the screw with that donut fragrant glaze butter. She's the marketing queen, right? Well, Jeanette, a lot of people already said they're not getting it. Oh, uh, I should have pulled it up, but I read well a lot of them saying that they not they gave her the money, but they still ain't got their glaze. So, oh, what's this? Uh, ADR, what are you saying? No mention of Mar Marcel Scott. Oh, that's bliss. Oh, yeah, my yeah, my this, yeah, the, the Scots, whenever, uh, Carlos mentioned him. He's just a fabulous. Y'all saw on that show, they sent them, a, they had to send them what they want them to say on network about my soul Scott. My soul Scott is this big time uh, businessman in, in Huntsville. My soul Scott is this big time construction worker. Now, y'all know I was over there day before yesterday where he's supposed to have been doing this uh, motel. Yeah, building a motel. Y'all know when it first came on, they were building this motel. He was a $17 million man. That motel ain't went up yet, y'all. I was over there day before yesterday and um they got a lot of crates and stuff like that laying out, but it has nothing to do with my soul, Scott. Nothing to do with my soul, Scott. Uh, ADR say Bama is historically respectfully known, if for nothing else, Miniman Martin Luther King did 90% of historical civil rights from Bama, not Atlanta. They ran him out of town. Yeah, you got a lot of historical uh, uh, things happen here. Yeah, my auntie, that's historical. Honey, 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 this historical, that, that secret. That's my Alabama. Black Titanic, ain't Linda. Yeah, the one that was on that Titanic. Now, my auntie opened doors for all of y'all to get on cruises. So when y'all get on cruise, y'all think about y'all Aunt, Aunt Melinda, who opened doors for y'all to get on those ships, okay? Uh, do anybody... Anybody want to come up and talk about this with me? But when I get ready to do the black history, y'all have to go out. Let me put this out. That's how I want to do it. We'll do the black history in a minute, but I want to hear, want somebody come up here with me. Miss Pinky at the hospital this morning, y'all, at the doctor's office. Y'all know Pinky look. <laughs> Pinky, Pinky got so much energy. I don't know where she get all that energy. She can be up at night in the middle of the day, whatever. But yeah, she's at the doctor's office today. Anybody coming up? Come on up. 
Oh yeah, Miss Dolores said that my grandson went to space camp in Huntsville. Yes, it is. And um, uh, when they talked about that on that that show, y'all, that shit made me mad. I mean, it made me mad. I mean, I was pissed off about this man scamming everybody. Scamming people in Huntsville, and that's what y'all gonna say that he put uh, him on a map. You can tell they don't watch that show, or they watch the show, and Carlos gave them a little something of what to say. I got my link out, y'all. Uh, I got my link out for anybody want to come talk to me about this. Don't leave me up here by myself, y'all. <laughs> oh. Said I got 326 people watching. That's what it says. But uh, yeah, if not, then I'm going to move on to the love and man. I'm going to move on to my black history. If y'all don't want to come up, I got all y'all. Y'all, y'all, one thing about me, I got a lot of quiet people that, that be under my chat. It's just a few of them that like to come up and talk, but most of y'all are real quiet. Trend and probably tired because she has her own stuff to do. Okay, Tanya said that uh, the Scots have claimed to be from Pontiac, Michigan. Yes. Did y'all see when Tay Talk over there? Tay Talk read off their mother's uh, biography and it says that, well, yeah, she was a school teacher. But then she she left her children. I mean, like nine, I'm gonna believe she left them and went and lived on campus in her forties. I just never heard of that. You and your, and, and she got all these kids and she went and stayed up on, on campus. And, and Tay would make me laugh because Tay said that's not normal <laughs> for a forty some year old woman to be living on campus with them teenagers. Because usually when you're a freshman, what you about eighteen or nineteen up there? And then she had all these kids and oh uh, yeah, that's what they say. I'm like, Woo. but then I did. I went back to school too when my kids was in high school, but I did not. I didn't stay on campus. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I just felt like, well, maybe she abandoned her children. You know, let's see what y'all said. I wish somebody would come up and talk with me. Let's see what this say, y'all. This is ADR. ADR. ADR says, notice ladies, the latest Tisha show and tell live on the snotty house. He took down that look like stolen chandelier did he yes yeah tisha made a mistake and showed it and put up some cheap lampshade type lights he must have read what i wrote yeah everybody they seen it you yeah adr they seen that chandelier they had put that chandelier up in the house yeah come on up i finally got somebody gonna come on up with me <laughs> Oh, come on up and talk to me about this woman. Don't leave me up here by myself. Hey, Miss Minerva Lewis, is that how you pronounce your name? Yes, ma'am, Miss Minerva. Okay, great. That's that's different. You know that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's on your mind? Um, when it comes to Stormy, nothing surprises me about her. Um, she wants to um be male so much and try to one up her and she can't compare she cannot compare when it comes to melody um she's a fraud i wouldn't buy anything from her just by the lawsuits that's coming up and from my understanding a class action lawsuit is about to hit her from all of the people that hadn't gotten their products from prior years. So, um, and Marshall, don't get me started on him. I just can't stomach him. And Tisha, dumb ass, oops, sorry, dumb self. So, I just don't understand how they can just outright take people hard earned money and then turn around in front and floss in front of those same people and just don't care. 
I couldn't do that. I just, I don't, I can't, couldn't do that. And you can tell they wasn't raised with anything because the first thing they want to go get is cars and, and different things like that or fix their bodies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And for Tisha to say she got three and four degrees, she's not doing anything with them. She want to say that um, she started this business with her girls and her girls do have beautiful hair, but those girls were born with that beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. It ain't no product that she just been whipping up in her, uh, her kitchen that got her daughters with that beautiful hair. So she can miss me with that bull, that bull crap. And it's all going to come to light when she goes to goes down for this because her name is on a lot of stuff. And Marceau is a slick mm -hmm. so-and-so because I really feel that he has no regards for her because he got three kids with this woman and he's going to put her name on documentation. So when everything hits to the fan, she's going to be held liable and he's going to be what sailing into the sunset. Yeah. She doesn't realize all she worried about is our marriage. And you know, you know, Maurice, stuff here. Maurice did the same thing with Kimmy. Everything. Every oh, Kimmy, I do not feel sorry for Kimmy. I'm glad she's doing better with her cancer and stuff like that. But I don't feel sorry for her. She's a snake. She's a slippery snake and she was a side chick. She got three different stories about she didn't date Maurice until he was married. Then she said um, she didn't meet Maurice until after she then come to find out she went and bought um, sex toys from Maurice's wife, Kiowa. Okay, let me let Miss Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ms. Hello, Debbie. hello, hello, my sister. How you doing, hello. Queen Titanic? How I'm you good. doing, Queen Minerva? <laughs> hey, Aunt Debbie. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Come on now. I know you got something for me. <laughs> I, I, I got something to say right now. Now, I don't know why y'all mayor gave... Um, Storm Misha, no, no key to the city or no paper or whatever he did. When Mel been there all, all that time doing community work, feeding, giving out coats, turkeys, meals for the people, where her key to the city at? What's wrong with that mayor? He, uh, where he at? He needs uh, to answer these questions I got for him. You know what? I, right. I saw that she said that he uh, wrote a little letter and congratulate her. I saw that. I, yeah. You know, they don't even be watching that show. They just, people just tell them things and they'll just, just, just do whatever people say. But that's wrong because Melody be a, been an upstanding community person and doing all she can for the community, worked in the community. And she don't get no paper. She just gave five hundred dollars away for teachers down here about a month ago, just before when school first started. Uh, what about a month? Five hundred dollars away for the teachers. Yeah, make sure that they. Always, she was, is always giving yeah. back. I yeah. haven't seen Stormy give back nothing. She won't even give you the products you paid for. That's one I'm wondering how she get the paper and all that from the mayor and Melody hasn't gotten one. I don't think that's fair. Now, I just don't think that's fair. Well, did, then people, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did, she, did, he, did she really get it from him? I mean, you know, he, that letter, I mean, they make up so much stuff. Well, the lady at that pastor party said it come from him and was we reading off the paper what the mayor was saying. Oh, wow. 
Well, that's what they say, spiritual weakness in high places. And she trying to put herself up there like she's better than Melody. Y'all know in July the, July the 29th, that article came out about Melody being a fan favorite, all her accomplishment. Then a, a, a week later, here comes Storm and she done paid somebody to write her an uh, article on the internet. That, oh, yeah, they must be confused. Stormy is the queen and Stormy is the fan favorite of love and marriage. That was some doing a Stormy. She just jealous and envious of Mel. I she think they had something to do with that. Anybody. You, you think know, who? Stormy never had no friends. She's not a girl's girl. She'd been around her mama with that bitter envy and jealousy. That's been all through her lifetime. That's just the way she is. Now, I think CK I think has Stormy need to Stormy need to get on down to that jail and and answer some questions. And she need to apologize to you. Until she do that, nothing in her life is ever gonna work right. Yeah, you know, she's not going to, her mother told her that. I, her mama said on national platform that she don't say she's sorry, she don't uh, apologize. But welcome, Miss GCEO, welcome. What's on Hi. your mind? Hi, Miss Black Titanic. I just actually started really watching your channel, and I love the Black history that you provide for us. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult now to find our elders in the community that can just say it like it is. You know, that's how I grew up around elders that just tell the, you know, tell the truth based on how they, they perceive it and be able to give that wisdom. So hello, hello, and thank you for that. Um, I am, I, I used to watch um, um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. I basically kind of just stopped watching. It's just got too much drama, too much drama for me. Um, but I, I, I was listening um, to um, the other um, panelists, and I think that the reason why the mayor probably gave Stormy a key is because she does do a lot. Um, I don't think everything that she's that she does is actually promoted or advertised on the show. Um, I hate the way that they make. What um, she do, ma'am? Excuse me, I'm missing some. What she can you give us that example? For, for women who couldn't have babies, she did like a big um, um, event for those individuals. She helped people who were having problems with conception um, get the the necessary medical attention that they needed for that. It's a, it's quite a few things that she's done for a lot, and she does a lot for black business owners too. She does. So, um, you know, I'm not a fan of anyone. I'm just a, a, a person that's a fan of right. Um, and I, I like Mel I like Melody and I do like Stormy too. Um, I think both of them have great qualities. I like Mel's class. I do think that Melody has a, a tendency to um, throw walks and hide her hand. And then she doesn't really have to say anything to anybody. Example, about she has excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. You keep my example. Give me an example. What rock she threw in them yellow. Um, okay, I need so an example. And then I also need an example of what did she do for these ladies? Who? Um, you said Stormy? she did. Yeah, she did something for some women yeah, that couldn't be seen. Meaning what? She has done like um, for women who have had um, issues with um, with um, conceiving children. She mm -hmm. has um, provided like financial support to a lot of women. She's done like um, community baby showers. She's done a lot. I, I don't think that they really share a lot of what she's done on her platform um, on the show per se. You do but you she, live here, ma'am? No. Oh, cause I I just. For, for a person that lived here, I just never heard those things highlighted, even in the community. So this is surprising. Okay, go on. Um, now you tell me what you say about Melody throwing rocks and hide her hand. I think she does do that. I, I, I believe that she does do that. Give um, me a you, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. You say I mean, you, yeah. believe she, you believe she do that. And you haven't seen her do anything. I have seen her so do that's that. an assumption. Yes, I have. No, I have seen her do that. She has said some really rude things to some of the women on the show. And hold then when hold they clap, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss CEO, ma'am, answer yes, one thing. 
you need to get, I would like to deal with facts. Can you please give me at least one thing that she did that, that, uh, well, she threw a rock and, uh, well, for instance, the situation where her and Destiny, mm -hmm. the way that they both have discussed that situation, the information that's come forth, Melody was not really a great friend to Destiny. And I don't think that that's because she was intentionally not trying to be. I just think that she ha was in a really bad situation where she was married to someone who betrayed her. And so at that point, it's really difficult for you to determine like who really is for you and who's not. Um, so these hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not dealing with facts. You're just dealing with your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. When well, I watched the show, when I watched the show last season, Melody does a lot of throwing rocks and hiding her hand. She does. And that's and that is what a master strategist does. A person who's playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers can do that. Ma'am, that's still all I'm saying. You still haven't given me not one example. You, your example is your opinion of a friendship that you felt like wasn't. No, deep. it's not just the friendship. It was how she handled destiny that was wrong. The thing and, is, what about, what destiny and the things that she said about destiny that were not true. What did she so, say? About destiny Hope? didn't say anything about Mel that wasn't true. Destiny didn't say everything that I Melody hear. said. And no, run back no, and tell she, her husband about her. No, she, you only see Melody's reaction to certain things. So y'all telling me that Melody has not done anything wrong to anybody on that show? I'm not saying that Melody doesn't have flaws or anything like that. She has more than just she has more than just flaws, y'all. She has done some underhanded stuff. She has. But you can get you can't tell us one underhand things she done all you can say she did is this that and the other and what she did to destiny when destiny needed her bills paid mel was the one and that, that came was, and brought and her that money was wrong. wait a that minute was, now, that to was you. wrong too that, I listened, that was wrong I listened too. To they showed her hand because first of all if you do something for somebody out of your heart why are you putting that out on national television that was that was dead wrong of her to do that and she now, does now, that now, can right i talk I listen to you. Let's do this. I listen to you. It's only fair you you listen to me. Okay. Yes, she only said something. She only said something about it. It's because she had to. Destiny she, has done things to Mel as well. By going by telling her ex-husband Mel's business, befriending Mel, and going back and talking to Martell. That's why Mel cut her off. I don't blame her. Put yourself in Mel's shoes. If your ex-husband had a friend that was befriending you and you was telling her things and she was going back telling them and you knew because they were saying it for verbatim, wouldn't you feel some type of way and cut her off as well? Yes, you would. Well, first of all, if if Destiny is speaking to her husband and pillow talking, she's sharing things with her husband that her and Mel are dealing with or maybe some issues that might have arose as a friend. I have friends for years. So people do that. The fact oh, that no, he, they don't. My friends yes, don't do that. No, yes, don't know. Oh, girl, That's not no, no, I know. I know. I know. Your friend is going to your ex telling no, your not ex to your anything ex. about you. she's not your friend. No, I'm not talking about your ex. I'm talking, I thought you were saying that Destiny said something to her husband about Melody. I thought that's no, what you not, were saying. No, no, no. no. We're Destiny talking about going to uh, Martell telling Martell all of Melody's business. Now, I don't believe that Destiny did that. Yes, she I, did. You don't, believe, you don't believe, but it was shown that she was. That she was talking about um, Melody before their friendship ended. Okay, yes. hold it, hold it. This is about these. Can you tell me how do you feel about Stormy taking uh, these clients' money and not delivering their orders? Now that's not right. Like I told you, I'm going to be on the side of what's right and what's wrong. And that's definitely not right. I think that she should definitely rectify that situation in any way that she can, whether it's like, first of all, giving them their product and then also giving them like a, a half, six months worth of discounts or something like giving them free product that she need to make that right.
as a business owner, especially when you're dealing with the black community. So, yes, I I definitely don't agree with that at all. That's not that's not cool. Okay, but you know what? You when you come on here, like I like to deal with facts and receipts. Mm -hmm. You didn't come on here with no facts. I'm going to get back on Melody. No facts about Melody. Uh, Only thing you you're dealing with is your opinion and what you think. But you did. You're not dealing with facts about Melody. You not told us not one thing that Melody did that what was she threw rocks and and hit a hand, however y'all said. So I I like to deal with facts, not your opinion, what you think, your theory, or what. Just facts. And as a matter of fact, uh, when Melody, I think she was a great friend, especially when she helped her out financially. She helped the girl out financially. She tried to be a friend. So anyway, but thank you anyway for coming up. And um, I'd like to continue on this. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> who, is, who is, I'm scared to drop the link. Who is Cinema Swirl? <laughs> oh, no. Let Cinema Swirl up, Miss Titanic. Lord Jesus, oh, my God. What the hell? Who is these folks coming? Ooh, okay, I'm dropping it. Okay. Cinema Swirl, here we go, y'all. We we'll get to the Black History sometime today, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, Talk about everything about that woman storm except for how she's scamming the community. Scamming the community. All right, the link is blocked. Okay, so now we're talking about Melody, right? So what I do know, I, I live here in this community and never heard not one one thing, not one thing that this girl is telling me about. How could I live in this community? Everybody in this community has not, I just dropped the link, Pinky. Everybody living in this community. I've not heard nothing about Stormy helping nobody out. And how is she going to pay for somebody else's medical bills when she can't pay for her own bills? That's what I was thinking. But okay. You know, she, 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 like I said, those were assumptions she was making. She came with no facts. And she still didn't tell us how Melanie done th- throw some bricks and hide her hand. Men she was on like Melody. them a platform. It wouldn't be a show without Melody. And she gave them all a platform. You know, she did what she could for uh Marceau, Tisha, and their family, you know. So I don't know what what she's talking about throwing a rock and hiding her hand, but I seen a lot of them throw a whole lot of rocks and they didn't hide their hands. They they got together and tried to stare at Melody in her back. So what this lady was saying, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. Just, oh, like oh, I oh, said, me. those were assumptions. She was making assumptions, and she entitled to her opinion. When this story becomes, this woman says, Thorne is a doctor. She had people with fertility issues. When did, what? Well, I didn't ever know she was no medical school. I've been, pra- I mean, I've been, uh, I just about know all the nurse, nurses and doctors in this community because this is where I work at. This is where I graduated from. Uh, it's been a, in the medical field. This is where I taught it. When did she become a doctor, y'all? Okay. <laughs> how, did, how did I get the... Thanks. Somebody just sent me a, a super study. Uh, Miss Jeanette Stewart say, Miss CEO lady, if you stick me in the back, you may get a stone brick or lick in my opinion, allegedly. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. Oh, Miss Swirl, let me pull you up. Are you up, Miss Swirl? I'm up. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold on. Let me get, I think, one more person. Let me pull that other person. Okay. Up. Probably pinking. Pinky, are you back from the doctor? Yeah, she back home. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. Hey, Miss okay. Pinky. 
Miss, you, Miss, Miss Cinnamon, go on. Yeah. I'm going to okay, be so. while y'all talk, and I'm going to talk, too, in between my eating, okay? Okay. Did, did that person say she lives in Huntsville? She said no. I asked her. She said no, because uh, I said okay. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how does she know that Stormy has done all these things and she doesn't even live in Huntsville? That's very convenient and a lie. That was a bunch of BS that she got up there to tell. So this must be someone who Stormy is paid to go on um, people's lives to sit there and spread lies. And then how you can tell Destiny is a dog is because look how she's moving with Belinda, Sheree, everybody else. No, no, uh, What's her name? Destiny, Dusty Destiny is at 304. So she can get out of our face talking about um, Mel was throwing rocks and hiding her hands. First of all, Mel never said a thing about Destiny until Destiny went around telling everyone, um, yeah, Mel, didn't, Mel wasn't a good friend. Well, and where I come from, a good friend is someone who will give you money to pay your bills. That's the type of friend I that. want. So you know what? Whoever you are, and I know you're still in the bushes, you can step back and go somewhere, girl, with your BS, because that's what it is. Mel is a yeah. good friend. We, uh, yeah, yeah. A person yeah, shows yeah, their heart by their yeah. pocketbook. And that girl, that woman gave that girl $6,000 of her hard-earned -own money. She got four kids and a deadbeat husband that don't take care of her kids who put her out of the house and didn't let her take anything. That's a good friend. That's the type of friend I want. So you can go somewhere with your dusty destiny ass, okay? Because we ain't buying it. Go somewhere. Stormy is a crook. Oh, yes, yeah, she needs to re no, she needs to refund their money plus interest. That's what she needs to do. So Amen. until Stormy can do right by people, nothing she ever does is gonna turn out right. She's gonna they're gonna continue to sue her. She don't pay her debt, and she's gonna her karma's gonna keep spinning the block on her behind because she's a deadbeat and she's a thief. Anybody that puts um sales on products to draw people in, and then half the people don't get their merchandise is a thief. So catch a thief, find a liar. She's a thief and a liar. And that's why every time we turn around, someone else is taking her behind the court. She's a thief and a liar. So you know what? Go somewhere about all the good things Stormy Steele has done for their community. Black Can Titanic, listen. She on. lives there and she doesn't know of any of this. So you know what? You can go somewhere with that trash talking and Stormy Steele. Get your little check from Stormy Steele. But you can tell Stormy we don't believe a word of it. Okay? I was just want to add on to that. That uh, they still. She said she was uh, doing that. Uh, she wanted money, uh, donation for the people, for their school supplies. Nobody hasn't gotten nothing. They said not even like a 25 cent eraser or a 99 cent pack of paper. So because all she does is lie. All yeah, she does she, is lie. Everything yeah. she says she does is a lie. That is a liar and a thief. That's another way for her is getting money again because she got to pay somebody, somebody off again in court. So she's trying to Collect money again. Exactly. Exactly. Destiny, if she, Destiny is the one that's not a good friend because Mel, like you said, gave her that six thousand dollars allegedly. Then, if she don't like Mel that much, give her back the money. Give her, her money back. back. That's right. Back. Give her, her money back. Give her her money back. Yeah, right. and then kiss her behind. That's right. what I well, want. You don't want to have but you know what? Destiny. Give her the money back. Is a dirty snake, and I don't care what nobody says. She's screwing Martell. She's the pimp in, the, in this game because every yeah. woman he's involved in, she's sitting there in all the pictures. Now you got this new woman that was at the party. What I Destiny? Think what we think madam. is pictures with Destiny smiling. Destiny is the goal between. I believe that Destiny sleeping with them women and Martell. Right. They are all there you together. Mean, she's been in the bed with all three, all of them, the three of them. Every separate woman: Sheree, Belinda, this other woman. She's been there in the bed with all of them. She's a nasty yep. snake. So go somewhere, Miss Troll, Miss Stormy Steel Agent. You can go somewhere. So until you have facts other than say he throws rocks and hide her hands, you know what? You ain't give us no proof, but we gave you proof of what Stormy has done and proof of what Destiny has done. So until you can come to us with some facts, go away. We don't want to hear your BS. Not one person on the show can say show anywhere that Melanie had 
so rough and had a hand. Not one person can show Not it. One they can them. lie about it, but they can't show it. All she has done is defend herself against them right. low life people who don't have a dime to their name. That's and all she's done. Everybody on that show should hold her because she gave yeah. all the platform. All show the platform. Your, every one of them. Show. She show more integrity and, and the youngest one on the show, y'all. The youngest yeah. one and the richest one. Stormy that still is. True. is is, is in debt. She got that house, but every time we turn around, more and more debts being added to that house. Pretty she soon she doesn't even own that yeah. house. It's a and she had that party. She had that party because she wants people to see her house. We don't care about your house. Your house is on the way out of your name, girl. That's going to be, um, what's the name of that company? Apex? That's going to be their house. Yeah, yeah that's a, oh yeah, they owe them over a million dollars. Yeah. 1.7. They they coming to get the house real soon because we all know she's not a smart businesswoman. When and when and when you play dirty, house, you don't lose it. everything you get because you play dirty. You play you dirty. Awesome. You take people's when money. Lean on your house, you don't own that house then. The exactly. lean, whoever got that lien on it owns that house. Your name is Absolutely. just it, but they their name trumps your name because they can put you on right. any time. Right. But if you don't pay, if you pay it, then it's, it'll be yours eventually. Right. You but this woman's not even yeah, paying they, it. They, they remove the lien. As, as long right. as that lien right. is on that house, she can't sell it. Long, she can't do nothing to it but live in it. Right. Let me let me read to y'all what this uh she this she went to court right for executive uh financial enterprise. Let's just see what they did. They. I, I, Oh my God! It says executive financial. Oh my God! Financial enterprise. Executive financial enterprise. You got it. Yeah, they're all over. Uh, I, they got a headquarters in uh, California, but also they got locations in uh, Alabama as well. Uh, basically, what they do, their company, um, just say if um, like Apex. Uh, they have a debt that they need to collect from uh, Stormy. So what they do, they uh, since she have not paid that debt, they would uh, it's like a collection then, right? They put it in collections, and when they put it in collections, all that million, whatever that million is, or what, however how much you owe them, they would uh, whether it's twenty thousand or more. I think they start from twenty thousand on up, but mm. she have to pay. That debt, if she don't pay it, what happens then, they put it in collections, then um, executive financial enterprise will represent that company, wherever she's at, uh, they're the ones that will go to, uh, they will show up in the courtroom and uh, you have to pay. And try to cut mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right, collect or make arrangements or whatever she's going to do. Now, if arrangements can be made, sometimes you can't make arrangements, they want the debt. Yeah, so... Basically, she them. But they she's such a good that woman. And to uh, Apex. They say she a doctor. Who letting Stormy doctor on them? Oh, <laughs> 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 God. I never heard this. Some new stuff coming up. Wait, and say then, that again. I missed that one. They say mm -hmm. she a doctor. Mm -hmm. Some troll and they say she a doctor. Miss hmm. Pinky, they say okay. she's a doctor and she does fertility treatments. Oh my God! If when they don't stop. That now? When this is this written in the chat over here. But uh, oh, I like to just say what Patricia Cameron says. Stormy still is living down to her name. Stormy creating havoc and still to still. Well, that last name was A L is what she do. She's a yeah. Exactly what she's feeling. Yeah. You know what? I didn't expect we were talking about uh this court case. I didn't expect for it to turn out to be a uh, bash and melody case. And I know well, you know, any, chance, they, any chance they get, anytime they have anytime they see an opportunity to bash her, they will. That's what they do. Because That's exactly they what they do. And um mm -hmm. Melody helped all them people. You know, that lady didn't come with no facts. All she had was assumptions and her opinion. And mm -hmm. she, like like uh, Cinnamon Spurl said, she's a representative for Stormy. 
Right. All right. Go on back down there in the chat with that mess and collect and, your check. Right. Mm -hmm. Collect what your you check. Know, your you ever notice that uh, if um, anything is going on with them, they try to deflect. They bring up Melanie's name trying to deflect. Put attention on her so you can keep it off me. Yeah, so right. what she needs to do is go on back to store oh, and get her, oh. few, her few pieces of silver. That's right. what she needs to do. Go on now, because she, she, she'll know what she's talking about. Right. And, and then the lady say, store me a doctor. Really? Right. Somebody <laughs> said, animal doctor. That's why she's kissing that damn goat in the mouth. That looks mm -hmm. like reality to me. Did y'all see what I told you? what bestiality is? Yes, uh, exactly. She has a snake kissing a snake too, so she's in the bestiality exactly. And kiss that goat and that, yeah. and that goat. She got a posing with kissing with a goat in the damn mouth. Mm -hmm. like, but she kissing a snake too. Yeah, she kissing a snake too. Excuse me, y'all. Tanya, Tanya B, thank you for the cash apps. Thank you, Tanya. Came up on my phone, so it don't come up on here. Live, laugh, and love. Thank you for being here. All the content creator, Pinky. Thank you for being here. And um, Mary Wilson said, "Jealousy is a hell of a behavior." <laughs> Be <honest. laughs> Yeah, uh, Pinky. Something you said. Yeah, somebody must have told them to say something about Mel so they can get the attention off of her. Right. That's what this is all about. So let's switch it on back to where it's supposed to be, y'all. Yeah, let's switch it back right. on the criminal. Right. Trini, did you see what Trini said? Stormy can't afford that goat. Left alone donating uh, uh, allegedly. She can't yeah. afford that goat. And, and I need to go pay her bills and, and give these people their products. Right. And all that about she a doctor and all that. Doctor on her own self. Every week, something wrong with her. I said, if she a doctor, she ought to straighten herself out first. Now, if she Donna, a doctor, she can afford to pay. Yeah, that too, she like I broke. said. She need to get in that warehouse and get them folks' products out of there. That's what she needs to do. You said it right. All she can she do for me is... She money, but she's not giving them nothing. To me, that's still yeah, that's still. Yeah. It is still. Yeah. Yeah. No other way to look at that. N now she got a no refund policy. So when you send her, her send her your money, if she don't give you no product, you can't get no refund. That's, that's, that's still a criminal too. there. Because she knows she ain't. So guys, y'all should make sure your family and friends don't buy nothing because you're exactly. not going to get it. If the people haven't gotten it. From last year, they ain't gonna, and the people haven't gotten it from the beginning of this year, they ain't going to get no uh, product. So people need to stop buying. Forget how you may like something. You can go somewhere else and like something. Oh, and, and that's illegal to say if you don't get your product, you don't. there's no refund. Where do they do that at? That's illegal. But yeah, you know what? That up on her website. I'm going to tell you something. I don't want nothing from your, uh, I got, never got your order, or I didn't see it, or 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 something. Anything. She don't even answer the email. I'm going to tell you something. I don't want nothing from Stormy. I don't want none of her products. She can stay in that warehouse with them snake, goats, dog, cats, and whatever else she got over there. I don't want nothing from her. She don't have to worry about me sending none of my money to her. She I don't want nasty. nothing she got. She now go that. back and tell her that, Miss Representative, why you getting your few pieces of silver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, that's I'm feeling good right now. <laughs> Somebody said Stormy running a Ponzi scheme, y'all. Y'all know y'all Ponzi scheme, yeah. Trina speaking to you, Aunt Debbie. Auntie Debbie, Trina speaking to you. Hey, trending. Hey, my niece. And uh, you too, Pinky. I done passed it. Somebody was speaking oh, to you also, so. See. I done passed. <laughs> oh, that's now, okay. Yeah. Hello, Hello, everybody in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. How you all doing? Hi, Miss Reese. Hi, Miss Scorpio. Trending. I'm just hollering out a few names. I love, I like, love, laugh, and love. S. McNeil. And is in the house. Okay, I'm done. 
Okay, so you guys, uh, the the um, so when I went there today, I thought it was going to be uh that first national bank, first national bank still ain't had they day. <laughs> first national bank was advertised uh the, on the ninth, but when I get in there, it was that old freak, old Dominion freak. Now they still ain't had. <laughs> This is this week is executive financial enterprise. I guess First National Bank I'll, I'll be, can get their turn pretty soon. But uh, I, I don't know how these people. Uh, I don't know how these people can keep getting away with everything. Stormy and um, the Scots, those two. Yeah, the real Their day is coming. Their day yeah, is coming. Yeah, time is coming. You might and get away for a while, but sooner or later it catches up to you. Right. She's not getting away from moving out of that house, guys. Well, can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. If she got a lien and a second mortgage on the house, how many liens and mortgages can she get on one house? You can get as many as, as just after that. You, you, you can get as that many that as your equity, equity allows. You can it's get as many as your equity allows. allows. I drop right. it, but also if somebody do something on her house, just say uh, I put a new roof on, and she have them finish paying them, or that decorator have them gotten all the money and getting tired of waiting on her bull, they can slap a lien too. On that, so that can yeah, that's called that's that. called a mechanic lien. That's called a mechanic right. lien. But those mechanic liens, they right. come behind secured debt like right, mortgage. right. They come behind that's what I. And they, Right, right. That, that, that's true. what I do for a living. I'm in the mortgage yeah. industry, and, I, and I'm actually a mortgage underwriter. Yeah. Um. So yeah, those are what you call mechanic liens, and those yeah. come behind um any secured liens like mortgages. Yeah. But the I nope. the IRS they trumps everybody. Yeah. Hey, the IRS uh, trumps everybody. For me, uh, M M Z, uh, Pink, read that for me. Oh, okay. Let me just chew this down. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Somebody else can oh, read that's okay. it. We're eating. I'm sorry. Debbie, you want to read that? She, she sure trying to I eat. will. As Miss Gets Me, did y'all ever how that woman said community? She sounded like Tisha because she was saying the same thing that Tisha was saying. That was Tisha Scott. How can someone do that and live there and don't, don't watch? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, y'all! Right. Um, Who was this representative? Did I miss her? I didn't see, what was her name? What was her name? Yeah, what is it? It CEO. Was CEO. CEO. It was CEO, uh, Miss CEO, or something like that. It's oh on, God! Mm. It'll run back. It'll run back. Yeah, that that was that was something done to get the um, the smoke off of Stormy. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. how but we back on it. Yeah, yeah. We, let's get back on the stormy steel. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we already know Melody is up and up in the community. Right. We Nobody know. has not said that Melody did never ever get them. They product. Melody ain't been sued. Now even the warehouses, y'all. Even that's why she go from warehouse to warehouse. Warehouse. Yeah, and they got her, her stink mama, her crazy mama out there talking about uh how she got a new warehouse and she Hello? Hello? Yes, hello? That's how Pinky went. Okay, uh, Miss, the, the first lady that came on, Miss Lewis, you got something to say? You've been quiet up there. No, they always want to say that Stormy got this new warehouse and everything like that. Yeah, it's good. To ha it's okay to have a warehouse, and I'm not knocking her for having one, but when you being sued and different things like that, she got that big old, all that land and different things. Why she can't just have something on her land and not rent a space? That doesn't make sense to me. You got all this land. You want to tell people you got this and that and that, but you're not using it properly. That's why I said she's not a good business minded person. Because if I got all them acres of land, you don't think I will build me a warehouse on well, my property? Can, it, 
that depends on the zoning. She may not be oh, able Trina, to. I'm sorry. Hold on, Trina. You trying to come up? Just turn it up. When it comes to subdividing land, it depends on um, restrictions for um, wherever that. I know it's not Huntsville City, Madison County. It depends. She may not be able to um, build on that land or subdivide it. So that might be the reason. But she may not. She may not know that she can do that because she's not a smart business person. She That's what I'm saying. She's not a good business minded person. Yeah. But she yeah. in the rural. Yeah, she can build on that. She's in the rural. Now in a city they have things, but if you in the rural community, you could you can put whatever you want on your land, y'all. Ain't nothing out here but land and trees and, and, and animals run, running wild. Mm. But okay. then she may not want to pay the money to do it, but she's not a smart businesswoman, is the bottom line. Because if she was, she would pay her debt. But she's cash poor. I believe that's what it is. I believe she made her money. And what she did, instead of putting her money back into the business, she went out and purchased that home. She went out and purchased that truck because she's flashy and she wants people to see that she yeah. has things. But if yeah. she was smart, she would put that money back in her business and then put the rest in, in the account where she can draw from it when she needs it. So she's cash poor. Okay. So uh, she made Trin a serious mistake. Sorry. Trended at some point and then Mrs. Um, the other lady came up too. Both of you guys, y'all tell me what's on y'all mind. Okay. Hey, Black Titanic. Hey, Aunt Debbie, Minerva. Is that Scorpion Miz? Hey, Pinky. Hey, Sylvia. Hello, Scorpion Miz. Hey, honey. Yeah, <laughs> hello, Trending. Hello, Trending Scorpio Miz. Hey. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Black Titanic, I wanted to tell you this before I forgot. When you get a chance, get a banner to put up because people are spoofing icons. Then they come up. They're not who they say they are. And they're showing really explicit pictures to try to get either rally you or get your channel, you know, struck. So be careful. Really? You see some pictures? Really? Not here. Not in yours. I'm saying oh. it's happened to Pinky. It's happened to me. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you, babe. But I wanted to tell y'all, and I, and some people have already said it, but I, I'll send you the documents if you ever want to see them, Black Titanic. Stormy, okay, you know she got that Apex loan, $1.7 million, the judgment against her, right? Yes. Did you see that her second mortgage is under Apex loans for the exact same amount down to the cent? Oh, so they what they did, they just took the lien then. And they took it's the judgment and made it a lien. Mortgage. This is not a yeah. lien. This is mm -hmm. a second mortgage. That's what the second mortgage is. It's, it's still a lien. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, it's still a lien. She, yeah. Yes. So she has that. And Pinky, you called it. That was my guess too on they're collecting a debt for somebody uh, from Stormy with that uh, enterprise, financial enterprise. Because I looked them up too. And I was like, okay, they're debt collectors. So I wonder who they're collecting a debt on. So I really want to see that. But yes, that's all I had on Stormy. I'm listening now. Yeah, she, uh, she, she, she just owe oh, everybody. Every week they suing her. She got a judgment against her, but then she'll come on like she uh, she a millionaire, a multi-millionaire. Okay, Scorpion, Miz, what's on your mind? Good afternoon, Black Titanic. Good afternoon, Queens. How's everyone doing today? Hi. Hello. Fine and you. Fine and you, Scorpio, Miz. Yes, I, I was, um, you know, in the chat, and I was listening when that woman came up. I can't remember her name. Why we can't remember her name? CEO. It's CEO, oh. y'all. Okay, CEO, whoever she was. She had my blood boiling. And um, I just had to realize, you know, these people know Black Black Titanic, that you're going to be down there and you that they know that you are boots to the ground. They know that the, the content creators are always going to dig for the truth and this is what they do they sit in the bushes and they wait and watch and they want to see what we you, you know you all are going to uh, un, un re, you know reveal what you're going to uncover because they have so much dirt in the game so they're angry because Melody, because she's so bright she's shining the light on all of that that, that dirt that dirt can't stay hidden 
because they put themselves in a position to act like they are millionaires. So you all are going to get it. You're going to get this work. You're going to get this work. You're not going to get away unscathed because we're going to find out all the dirt. And that woman who came up, like the woman who came up and spoke about uh, Melody, you know, why throw Melody in this mess? Melody ain't got nothing to do with the crookedness that and the ratchetry that uh, Snuffle up, Snuffy is up to. And I call her Snuffy because, you know, y'all know. But with all these cases and with all the scamming and, and not paying her customers, you know, that's that's not community minded. How are you serving the community when you're out here scamming people and not paying folks? So, you know, they all they all flack in the same circles. And that woman, to me, sounded just like Letitia. She sounded like a Scott. I don't know if y'all picked up on it, but I heard it. It sounded like a Scott to me. So, I, picked, yeah. I picked up on that, that. That was a deep Southern accent. I picked that up. Yes, yeah. I did. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and she kind of threw some type of, there's like a, a phrase uh, speaking that same lingo. So I said, oh boy, here, here go the Dustiny simp and, and, and uh, the Dustiny and the, uh, and the Scott simp. But, you know. <laughs> she back in here, y'all. I'm going to let her so y'all can talk to her. Is she CEO? Y'all want to talk to her? Oh, yeah, yeah, let her up. Let her up. Man, you better put your banner up. You I'm gonna say put a prayer. Your oh, I saw that allegedly. It's going across there now. And I'm gonna tell you, everything on this town is allegedly just their opinion, my opinion. Okay, uh, y'all hear me up there. Okay, yeah, Miss. Oh, she gone again. What happened, Miss CEO? Don't Miss be scared, Tisha. Don't be scared, Tisha. Come on, Come on up, up, Tisha. Tisha. Ooh, baby. Now, if that's Tisha, she got her own problems. With her she don't need to be out here windmilling for Dusty Destiny or Stormy. She well, needs to get on home and take care of her business. That's right, because Zane ain't got that after them next week. Yeah. Jesus, that she and they with that Zane Garden man, they got something to be scared of right there. Yeah. And Miss Black Titanic, I hope you did a report on it. She better uh, figure out how, how a way to get her name off of all them documents. She don't want her name off of it. You know, she think she think that man and all that, y'all. Ain't, ain't nothing I could tell these people. I was trying to, she went somewhere, Miss CEO. It's it's H S H E C E O. She left, <laughs> so I guess she decided not to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I just like to ask you guys, uh, why would uh, Carlos King keep on having these people on his show? They use his show to do criminal, draw people in to do their criminal work to scam them, y'all. Because he's a scammer. He's messy. Well, did you hear him say that he was on Fox Soul? On Friday, and he said that if he didn't have, if if none of the cast had criminal records, he wouldn't have anybody on his show. Yeah, that's so stupid. <laughs> He's stereotyping, <laughs> ain't he? Because just on Huntsville, what do we have? We have Martel, Marceau, uh, Maurice, Tisha, Wanda. We got pretty much the whole cast that has a criminal record, so. Well, I mean, he know how to pick them. I mean, you know, he said that he kind of said that he had so many people auditioned, but he, you know, he just let them slide. And I know y'all, y'all know back in the 80s when the Cosby show was on a good time and all those shows were number one show. They were positive show. Black people will support those shows. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh yeah. And I, what was the one name with the college where the kids was in college? That one I enjoyed. Different world. Different, Different world. world. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was very positive too. Yeah. Yeah. But Carlos don't Carlos want no positive shows. Carlos King wants mess. Exactly. Because he exactly. thinks that brings in ratings and money. 
And that's why he got those people on there. He needs to go on over this. That's Lucy what he that wants. He, yeah. don't, he don't want no black excellence. He want ratchetness. He want drama. He want, he want all kind of messy stuff so he can get ratings and that makes dollars for his pockets. And that's all he trying to do is line his pockets with money off the backs of women. Having men talk down to them and mistreating them and using them and abusing them and he don't care nothing about it. That's what Carlos King wants. But Aunt Debbie, um, if Carlos would understand that if he allow the actual stuff that's actually going on in their lives, he would get better ratings and his ratings will go back up to where they once were. That's what people want to see, not the fake storylines. They want to see them actually going through the lawsuits, solving their problems, not just keep on claiming to be 17, worth $17 million. How a hotel worth that kind of money but can't pay $1,500 for a dinner? So they can miss me with all that trash. Yeah, what do y'all think about that love and Mary Detroit? That's just, that thing shook me. Saying that that man, he's a scammer. Scamming people out their money and saying that he put um husband on a map and, and talking about how he's such an amazing uh, businessman. That's what they were saying on that show. Uh -uh. Well, Marceau got me when he got up there and he was talking about a movement. Then he started talking about a movement in the bathroom. So what was he talking about? About a movement? Now I understand my Marceau okay, was yeah. talking all in circles. She back, y'all. If she can't get up, I might let somebody drop because sometimes this thing, here she come, y'all. Miss CCEO. Yes. All right, yes, Miss yes, CCEO, what's on your mind? Okay, so first of all, hello. I, hello, can y'all hear me? We can hear you. Can hear. Okay, so first of all, I do want to say that um, I I never said that um, Stormy was a doctor. Never said that. Um, we didn't and, say you did. <laughs> we, we didn't say you did. We never said that. We knew that was a lie. Okay. Well, no, I wouldn't even profess to that because that would be that would definitely be a lie. Um, no, I, what I was saying was I didn't like, I don't, I didn't say that I am bashing Mill. I do not dislike her. I feel like she's a very business savvy woman. She's, she's doing great for someone to have been done the way that she was by her husband. I'm not speaking against that. I'm just saying that y'all take, y'all making it seem like they everybody got their issues on that show. Everybody. Everybody in life has we just want that, that goes across the board. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying she didn't have any issues. Oh, what Lord, we're saying is that <laughs> you came you drop. came up here, you came up here and told us all the good things that Stormy's doing for the community, but you don't live she in the community. Me. So where's your proof? That's what we want to know. And then then you stand up there and you say, uh Mel throws rocks and hide her hands, and we said and give us an example, which you did not give us. So we're still waiting. We want to. I want to know how do you know Stormy has done so much for that community when you don't live in that community? So where's your evidence? So who did some? Did Stormy tell you this, or did you see it for yourself? Is my question. That's all I wanted. I just wanted her to give specific facts, like, you like I didn't ask. she dropped down before you said oh, two words. because she, she don't have no facts. Okay, let's leave her alone. Because as you can see, this woman has no facts. She just running her lips, and we don't we don't want to hear lip service. We hear enough of that from the cast, other than Mel. So let her scoot on and go her merry way. She don't have no facts. She got her opinions, or she has her little check from Stormy. That's what she has. And Miss Cinnamon Swirl, you see what she said? She does a um a double a double negative. She's gonna say a good comment comment about Mel, then she wants to say a negative. You might as well say mm -hmm. you don't like her because just because you say it, um, she does, she has a business savvy mind, but then you're going to say all the negative stuff that she did. You might as well but, not but take anything good point? about it. Did you catch the point that she said because based on what's been done to her, 
So if, if, if what happened to Mel didn't happen, if Martel didn't do all the mess that he did, she's saying because of all that, she's doing well. No, this woman is doing well because of anything or everything she has done. It's not based on because of what her husband did. She's doing well in spite of and not because of what he did. Exactly. She'll be doing well it, no matter what. Doing well no it's matter what. Exactly. Don't find her by that. this trash dude. Like, right. You don't have nothing to do I with it. You that that. A bit. In spite you know, of what's been done to her. Yeah, no. It, it, this ain't about what's been... We don't even care about that trash no more. That trash is history. We don't put him in a garbage can and the truck already picked it up. So let's move on with him you know what i mean he's yeah, a non that was weird like we he yeah. was not even a part of the conversation and nobody exactly. was melody is the one who had hope and hope in the multi-million dollar right. way he don't know how to form exactly. a corporation he don't know how to he don't know how to do nothing because, because if he, he did, did he would have that same business right exactly. now. Exactly. Exactly. He would still, if he didn't have that exact business, he would pass his builder's license test. He would exactly. have his own construction company. He would do exactly. all of that. Don't get me wrong. He can build houses. Yeah, he can do that. Can he? <laughs> no, what he can do is show up and put some sheetrock up. He can't build no houses. You know why I, know, why I say he can't build a house? Because he doesn't even know how to really um, read plans and specs. You have to know how to read plans and specs in order to be a builder. That's why he can't pass that test. Because the test is technical. Now, it's an open book, but it's technical. She and the reason why I here. know it is because... When I got in the business in the 80s to do certain loans, I myself had to know how to read heat loss calculation, HVAC specs, all of that stuff. I had to learn to read myself back in the 80s. So I'm telling you, the man is not smart enough to even pass the test, even though it's an open book. He just didn't have the intelligence to do it. Hold on, y'all. I I hold, hold, on. hold on for a minute. Pinky, can you hear me? Hello? Pinky leave and come back. She said that she just muted. She just can't nobody hear her when she's talking. Leave and come back in, uh, Pinky. Drop down and come back up. I don't know what it is. Okay, go on. Sorry for the interruption. Go ahead on. So like I said, we have sent him to the trash can. The garbage truck has picked him up already. And it's in the, it's in the dump somewhere. So we don't need, need to even talk about him anymore. So that's a dead issue. This woman is succeeding over and over. She is busting it out. Every time we turn around, it's something new and it's positive. And she's money making yeah. mad. So yeah. we don't, if not, she's, she's in spite of what happened to her, what he did. No, no we don't even right. care about that no more. That was three plus years ago. That, that's history. She ain't thinking about him and neither are we. He can continue mm -hmm. on with, with the bird. And the little boy, the little monster, and uh, Sheree, and all them other people. He can carry on with them. We don't care nothing about him. If we never say his name again, I will be happy. Because mm -hmm. he is a non-factor. Mel is doing her thing. She is making money, making business moves. And he is he's in the dump somewhere. Out in the dumpster with all the other garbage. And that's where he needs to stay. You guys keep talking, are you? <laughs> oh, well, I was trying to uh, figure out why Pinky can't. When she say something, maybe it's muted from your end, Pinky. I don't know, you guys. But uh, oh, she said Mel drop the link again. Okay, Melody, right? What we know about Melody is she have always uh had that business mind because she grew up with it you know watching her mother her uncles and all of them be entrepreneur so you know she had the know-how when she met him and so he he didn't know he didn't know what he was doing i don't even think he cared y'all y'all see martel martel always want to latch on to a woman yes that's what he mm -hmm. wants to do but and not only that, he wants to talk about people all the time because he made a smart remark about um, Dr. Heavenly's husband. Yeah, he has to pay for dinners because he's not him. Boy, you ain't cute. You I ain't cute at all. Right. I don't know what makes you think you God's gift to us, but boy, let me tell you, you are not. 
You need to go somewhere. He must think he is. He must look. They, they got him convinced. It's Carlos. Carlos got that thing convinced. He looks good. Well, well based on what I see, you ain't got what you got between you, lady. If you were zero. That's right, Dr. Uh, Heavenly <laughs> Husband is handsome and he's intelligent. Exactly. Intelligent, man. That means everything, man. He's it means man. everything. Yes. Well, everything. I'd rather have a man like Dr. Uh, Damon than a man like Martell. Absolutely. Damon can get his yeah. 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 And he mm -hmm. serves his community. Mm -hmm. Martell can't do any of that. He can't even serve himself. He can't even work and for himself. He doesn't get jealous of his wife shine. Exactly. No, he and don't. Besides, Sandra, Sandra, um, husband Ross offered to pay that bill. Martell ego said no. Mm -hmm. He got it. Then two days later, he cashed up all those women and asked for his money back. Wow. That's Kate, a good example of when faking and fronting goes wrong. You done faked in front to pay that bill, and then you turned around and said, Oh, I need that money back. And it went wrong. Good Hold luck. on a minute, y'all. Hold on. Pinky, are you there? Can you speak up? Pinky, where you at? Oh, um, she's she dropped been... down again. She's dropped oh, down again. Difficult. It's got to be on her end because everybody else, maybe she needs to check her mic because everybody else I can hear. It's not coming from this end. Okay, y'all, while we on Martell, y'all know Martell had the nerd to um, uh, go into heaven, Dr. Heavenly DM and clap back at her. I sure got it too, y'all. He just, you know, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna take it laying down. Yeah, I got it. Let me see what he say. Yeah, but he always want to uh, clap back at a woman, but he ain't yeah. gonna uh, clap back at a man. Let me read what this say. He says, uh, Martell talking to Dr. Heavenly. I didn't invite anyone. I wasn't the host. I was invited like everyone else. I bought a gift. And he ain't bought his children no gift. Oh, oh. y'all saw when he came to that party and crashed that baby party and didn't have no gift in his hand. Well, anyway, those were her friend girls and some, some had their husbands and boyfriends. Heavenly you said your husband would have paid. When I was married, I paid for dinners. And when I host dinners, now I pay. It's not if I can't pay. It's the principle. I paid for my dinner at Cherie Dinner. I said, y'all can cash out me. Well, <laughs> that's what we're saying. They don't mind lying on the deal. Y'all can cash out me. I've come to realize that extending a good gesture don't mean ish. What, what do you mean that it's a good gesture to ask these women for a cash out? But anyway, he said, because the main person, who is this? Oh, Mr. Ross, Sonia Ross, who spoke about this situation. I just paid for her and her husband dinner when we casually met up a couple weeks ago. So not doing things people expect of you or what you won't uh, do or bring out their true character. Then here go a picnic says, there's one big difference. He's not her husband or, or her man. And Martel Ho said, Dr. Heavenly, because the man you be dating, married to, ain't Martel Ho, they better pay. They have to pay. That's all I got going. That's all I got going. Y'all hear that? The thing is, Martell ain't used to running with the big dogs. Them girls in, in um the housewives, that circle, they all, when they go out, when somebody invite them out, whoever invite them out, they pay for everything. That's how they rule. Mm -hmm. And if Martell couldn't afford to pay, he should have let that man pay for everybody at that, that table. If Martell can't afford to keep up with those women and uh, that crowd, he don't need to be in it. That's, you say you paid for you or Sheree, that's your friend, girl, or whatever. She invited her friends. So that means if you her man, 
you gonna pay for her friends as well. So I uh, miss me with getting cash apps and all that stuff. He talking, trying to become the victim. You done ate off them people too. You might have bought one dinner for uh, the Rosses, but you done went to their parties and their houses and they too. So what's the difference? Exactly. If you can't afford to hang, stay at home. You called it undead. Yeah. That's exactly because he keep trying to justify that one time he did something with them. Like that ain't got nothing to do with the birthday dinner. Nothing at all. Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's wrong, babe. You, she keeps saying that when she come up, her 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 mic is muted. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah, anyway I didn't I mean, mean, I'm finna close it. I'm finna close it. Everybody gonna have uh, their final words, y'all. Wait, Liv laughed and Love said the difference is Dr. Damon can pass a closed book test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's a good and also, one. Also, Dr. Damon can pay for a dinner without asking women for cash apps because he has class and right. intelligence. Right. So, Martel, you need to learn from Dr. Damon and stop trying to talk about him or put him down because you can learn a lot from him. And uh, that lady, oh, it disappeared. The lady has deterred you from the subject of the criminals of Huntsville. We are talking about Stormy and the Scott's lawsuit. That's what they are, the criminals of Huntsville. That's right, yo. Um, yeah. Okay. Everybody gonna say their final words. Then I'm going and and then thank you guys for for handling her. Uh, I wonder what she think about Stormy cussing me out like a dog. I wonder what she think about that cussing the old lady out, a young girl. She gonna say she ain't see it. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. That's wrong. And I know I'm, well her mom ain't taught her nothing. But my mama would have whipped myself my behind, and I'm 47. Ain't no way in the world I would have told you all the things that girl told you. No, indeed. No. She didn't have that to say. All she had to say was, would you please leave in front of my warehouse or something polite like that? You didn't go at her saying so-and-so, this, this, and that. You didn't say that to her. I, I, she's I, I, going through everything. That's why she's going through everything. She going through now, and I don't feel sorry for her. And a lot more gonna go wrong with her. Now she won't talk about she got depression and postpartum. Now if she's going through that, I'm sorry that she's going through that, but I doubt it very seriously. Postpartum ain't a baby. What the hell is that baby? About two or three, ain't it? Yeah, the baby going. The baby going to school. So I don't see how she's going through it. <laughs> I ain't never heard of postpartum that late, but he's a cute little boy. Anyway, ADR said if he didn't think he was the host and only knew he was going to pay for the re, then why was he asking for the cash out if he wasn't expecting to pay for them what to pay for? Yeah, 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 oh yeah. Why was he asking for the cash out then? Because he paid for the whole table. All right, you guys, y'all. Y'all say y'all final words and then we're going. Miss Debbie? Well, my final thoughts are Stormy need to get uh, her problems at hand and take care of her business. You know, uh, Miss CEO, go go collect your, uh, few, your few pesos of silver and go head on because anytime you could come on somebody's panel and that person has disrespected an elder, and you're going to stand up here and tell me what a nice person that person Stormy is. I don't want to hear nothing you have to say or nothing she has to say because both of y'all don't have any respect for your elders. So go on, on with that, with your opinions, and, and, and go, go do what you do. Go work for Stormy. Because sooner or later, just like she talked to Miss Titanic, she gonna talk to you too like that. And I wanna see what you have to say when it happens to you. She's trying to come back up, but I'm not gonna let her back up. 
All right, uh, you guys, I'm finna go. It's two hours and 23 minutes. And uh, ADR said, cussing yo Miss J out. Apparently is balanced by her buying some mom, some maternity stuff. Miss CEO, I'm not gonna let you back up. I'm closing. All right, you guys. I'm finna to go, you guys. Thank you all, Chad. I'm going to give my final uh, shout out to everybody. She's CEO. I'm gone for the day. And the woman cussed me out like a dog. So I guess you okay with that. I guess you okay with her scam in the community using uh, allegedly a Ponzi scheme. So some people just okay with criminals. They, that's who they line themselves up with. Bye, B. Well, you, you, you have a good day, and thank you for having me, Miss Titanic. Okay. You have a wonderful day. We're going to email each other. You know what we discuss, me, you, and I. Yes, uh, ma'am. Okay. I'll be so, looking forward to it. Okay, yeah, we got me, you, and Pinko email each other and talk. Okay. So do you have my, let me put my email in here again. It says Black Titanic 65. It's Black, I got Titanic. Black Titanic 65. Is that Black. gmail.com? It's at Yahoo. I'm putting it down here so you can see at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Pinky. Sorry about that, Pinky. I don't know. I don't know uh, what happened, Pinky. Sorry. I'll call you, Pinky. Uh, Jeanette, what's the Jeanette Stewart, sorry, $150. Uh, I don't know what that means. Kathy Colba, ADR, D. Brown, Miss Neal, Janet Stewart. It was only $15 per person or $150 per person. Oh, you're talking about the, if you add everybody up for the payment. Miss Lewis, thank you for coming up, Miss Lewis. Hey, who said that? Who said that? Ain't you a, a content creator? I think I have watched it before. <laughs> this girl said, my, who said that? Said, my, look at this, y'all. It's funny. My tail asked for a cash app to get back to Alabama. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, before I go, I don't remember that young lady name. I just now came in, and I think I wrote it down, y'all. Y'all, they said, the girl said that, uh, let me see, I hope she's still on here because I want to acknowledge her. Hi, Black Titani. I'm happy. Like when I call my tell baby mama big bug. This is uh, BBDJW31. She says she called Martell Baby Mama Bed, but please give me my credit. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're you getting your credit now because it came from me when Martell was out in the streets with Cherie. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, all right. Do you want the credit for the word bed bug? You got it, babe. B B D Y B B D J W 31. I'm just acknowledging what you said. You want your credit for that word bed bug. So, all right. So, y'all don't know what's going on. Sometimes I say call coleslaw bed bug. I it just been circling around on that, circling around on that. Um, on the internet, but this young lady is saying that she started the the bed book, so she want that credit for it. So I guess I'll try to use something else. I won't take bed book, you guys. Anyway, uh, Miss O'Neill, of course, ADR, ADR. Hey, y'all, what happened to Linda Gamble? I ain't on here today. Kathy Colba, in potentials. My tail is phenomenal dumb. He got a PhD. <laughs> in potential, he got a PhD in dumbness. It's funny. Y'all know y'all funny. Simone said, Stormy needs to revamp her life and business practice. Yeah. 
Thank you, Cinema Squirrel. I sure did enjoy you today, man. Miss CEO made you, Miss She CEO made, made you upset. Anyway, Melody, y'all prayers goes out to Melody, y'all. Make sure y'all send prayers out tomorrow. Listen, you guys, I may and I may not, I don't know. On the way that I would want to go there is just to stick the camera in my tail face. Other than that, I would not bother Melody. That mother right there, that mother right there deserve her respect. Authorita, uh, oh, oh, this is what kind of doctor she is, y'all. Hey, Authorita, yeah, I forgot to do the black history. Oh my God, y'all, it's enough for y'all. Please, y'all, stick around. Let me do that. Let me run that right through. It ain't about 15 minutes. Stormy must be a witch doctor who, in her right mind, will storm and doctor. Okay, it's enough for y'all still on here. I forgot all about it. We got so involved in that. Uh, all right, let me run that for for y'all. Y'all need to y'all need to hear this. Okay, anyway, so for those of you that are left out of this book, I'm just gonna talk it over. Out of the book Black Titanic, Luther was a man that the mob was trying to take his land. Right? Uh, my 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 my. my my grandpa and his brother and his sister, they was looking for Luther because they knew that that mob was looking for Luther. They was tired of trying to negotiate with Luther about that land. So they were going to, mm, they were going to terminate Luther. So uh, thank Kathy Colbert for the, for, for this. And um, yeah, so they were going to terminate Luther, right? So they everybody looking for for Luther. The the brothers looking for Luther. They told Aunt Leonard to stay back, stay back. You can't go, girl. But Aunt Leonard always was a warrior. She wanna hang out with the fellas. She wanna go help fight too. But anyway, y'all know about by uh, Aunt, Aunt Leonard was traveling by herself. By the time she got to Aunt B store, that mob had killed Aunt B. Right, she was 91 years old. So finally, finally, Melinda going down. Thanks, Pinky, for a stupid sticker. And thanks, Kathy, Kathy Colbert. Finally, um, she heard about uh, all this blasting and shooting. She knew then that they must have, uh, uh, they must have found Luther, but she thought that they were shooting at Luther. But anyway, when she got there, they had all her brothers and all them men held up at Luther's place, and they had this shootout, and they were they they were getting the best of her brother. But Melinda and Sarah is the horse. They had dynamite, so they started throwing dynamite at the mob. Of course, the mob ran because they thought that 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 uh, it was like a whole army of Negroes. That's what they said. We got to get out of here. A whole army of Negroes them found us. So they ran off. But they Luther and his wife and children still wasn't at the house, you guys. Anyway, uh, they still was mad at Melinda, although Melinda say they like, I thought I told you to stay home. That's, that's what my grandpa was telling his sister. And I thought I told you to stay home. And she said, y'all so ungrateful. Y'all so ungrateful. Why y'all doing like that? I just say y'all life. Anyway, they went on down the road and they found Luther and his children, you guys, terminated. They had hung Luther and they had hung his wife and they had hung his two children. So that's what this about land grab, y'all. Back in the day, the clear people used violent to take our land. They used violent and they used so many tactics to take our land. It ain't that we didn't, we weren't coming up. We always was coming up. It's that every time we do, they will think of a way to bring us back down, even if it was just just to uh, go in there and terminate you and take it. And so this is what we're talking about. Miss Jenkins owned an island, y'all. That woman owned a whole island. Yeah, and they got jealous, and then y'all know they terminated her. Okay, so we're going to do our little Black History. I almost forgot all about it.
Thank y'all for still being here. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all my history buffs. Y'all, y'all my history buff. Thank y'all. Somebody re help me. Thanks for reminding me too, y'all. We're still hanging around for the black history. That makes me feel good. Thanks, Pinky, for the st super sticker and the other young lady. I forgot her name. Alrighty. Uh, y'all, it may probably going to freeze up. I don't like this. I'm going to find me something else. I don't like this. Is that she was an unlisted passenger aboard the Titanic. Yes, she was traveling as a personal caregiver with a European contractor. April 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg. I thought about jumping overboard since Melinda. I, 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 I was too scared. Then I thought about sliding down the ropes, but oh my God, my God, they were shooting and all black faces in sight. No one would they give us life, Jack. Then the water forced me into the sea. I swam towards the European lifeboat, but they pushed me away. Then a big large wave grabbed me and it forced me. It twisted me around like I was dancing. Of course, my ancestors continued to search. They used dancing to tell the stories. They told it through folks war. They told it through history. They danced and they danced. And they continued to search and search for me. But I remained lost at sea forever. But you know what? Our ancestors always come back to tell. You can't keep our history hidden from us. Black landowners were put under a tremendous amount of pressure from authorities and otherwise to give up their land and leave. They became refugees in their own country. For example, the Associated Press found that 18 black families lost a total of 330 acres plus 48 city lots when they fled Ocoee, Florida, after a 1920 election day attack on the black community. According to property records, some were able to sell their land at a fair price, but others, such as Valentine Hightower, were not. He parted with 52 acres for $10 in 1926. Today, the land lost by the 18 Okoe families, not including buildings now on it, is assessed at more than $4.2 million. Sometimes, individual black farmers were singled out and attacked by bands of white farmers known as the White Caps operating in several southern and border states around the turn of the 20th century. They were intent on driving blacks from their land and discouraging other blacks from acquiring it. Whitecaps often nailed notes with crudely drawn coffins to the doors of black landowners, warning them to leave or die. The warning to Eli Hilson of Lincoln County, Mississippi, came on November 18, 1903, when Whitecaps shot up his house. However, Hilson ignored the warning. A month later, the 39-year-old farmer was shot dead as he drove his buggy toward his farm. The horse pulling the buggy trotted home, delivering Hilson's body. ...to his wife, Hannah. She struggled to rear their 11 children and work the 74-acre farm, but she could not manage without her husband. She lost the property through a mortgage foreclosure in 1905. Land records show the farm went for over $400 to S.P. Oliver, a county supervisor. Today, the property is assessed at over $60,000. It wasn't just whitecaps and night riders who chased blacks from their land. Sometimes officials did it. In Yazoo County, Mississippi, Norman Stevens and his twin brother Homer ran a trucking business, hauling cotton pickers to plantations. Stephen's widow, Rosie Fields, would reveal the harrowing story that unfolded years later. One day in 1950, a white farmer demanded that Stevens immediately deliver workers to his field. Stevens explained he had other commitments and promised to drop off the men later, however. The farmer fetched the sheriff. That evening, the brothers found themselves locked in a second-floor room at the county jail. They squeezed through a window, leaped to the ground, and ran. Fields said her husband later told her why. They had overheard the sheriff, now dead, 
talking about where to hide their bodies. Fields said Stevens and his brother quickly flagged down a bus to Ohio. A year later, she and her five children joined them. For a decade, the family made mortgage and property tax payments on the house they left behind. Records show. But it was hard to keep up, and they never dared to return, Fields said. Finally, in the 1960s, they stopped paying and lost the house they had purchased for $700 in 1942. One of the most brutal cases of racial violence to claim black land was the story of Anthony Crawford. Crawford was a rich black American who inherited. There comes a time in every man's life when he starts to appreciate rinsing things off. Mm, that's some good rinsing. And when that time comes, you need the Rinse Kit Pro, the powerful, pressurized, portable. Purchases in 1883, 1888, 1899, and 1903. In the mid or late 1890s, Crawford was co founder of the Industrial Union of Abbeville County which was devoted to the material, moral, and intellectual advance of the colored people. He was also the father of 12 sons and four daughters. Crawford was without doubt one of the richest men in Abbeville County. However, his prosperity had made him a target. The success of blacks such as Crawford threatened the reign of white supremacy. As at that time, there were obvious limitations or ceilings that blacks weren't supposed to go beyond. For many decades, successful blacks lived with a gnawing fear that white neighbors could at any time do something violent and take everything from them. That day would come for Crawford, leading to this untimely demise. On October 21st, 1916, Crawford was taking two loads of cotton and a load of seed into Abbeville and had a disagreement over the price of cotton seed with W.D. Barksdale, a white store owner. Barksdale offered Crawford 85 cents a pound for his cotton seed. Crawford replied that he had a better offer. Barksdale called him a liar. Crawford called the storekeeper a cheat. Three clerks grabbed axe handles and Crawford backed into the street where Sheriff Burtz appeared and arrested Crawford for cursing a white man. Crawford was held at the jail briefly and released later that day on $1.15 bail. While Crawford was arranging bail, Barksdale was organizing a mob with McKinney Can to whip Crawford and cure him if possible. Sheriff Burtz allowed Crawford to exit from a side door but the mob saw him anyway and pursued him into a cotton mill nearby where Crawford took shelter in the boiler room. McKinney Can entered the boiler room after Crawford and Crawford, grabbing a hammer from some nearby tools, knocked the man unconscious. Although the mill workers attempted to stop it, Crawford was stabbed and severely beaten by the mob. Sheriff Burtz appeared and arrested Crawford once more, much to the chagrin of the mob of whites. The sheriff could only get Crawford away from the mob by promising to the brothers of Can that he would not try to sneak Crawford out of town before the full extent of McKinney Can's injuries was known. As it happened, Can was not badly hurt, although Crawford was. He was treated by physician C.C. Gamble, who also happened to be the mayor of Abbeville. Gamble announced that Crawford would likely die from his wounds. Considering that Crawford might die before the mob could get to him, and concerned that the sheriff might spirit him out of town at 3 p.m. Around 200 white men besieged the jail, captured and disarmed Sheriff Burtz, and abducted Crawford. Crawford was dragged down three flights of stairs amongst a cheering, bloodthirsty mob, where they proceeded to beat him with rocks, wagon boards, jump and spit on him. The mob then dragged him through the black section of town with a rope around his neck as a warning. They then stole a lumber wagon from a black driver and used it to take Crawford to a fairground nearby. Crawford, likely dead by that point, was still hung from a tree, and armed whites riddled his body with bullets, rendering it to a bloody pulp by the bloodthirsty white mob that resented his wealth. The paper's headline the next day read, Negro strung up and shot to pieces. To hide the truth, the county coroner reported that Crawford had died at the hands of parties unknown. That night, the relentless mob decided they needed to drive Crawford's children and their families from the area. On October 23, 1916, the white citizens of Abbeville, including many members of the lynch mob, voted to expel the remainder of Crawford's family from South Carolina and to seize their considerable property holdings. They also voted to close down all the black-owned businesses in Abbeville. The Crawfords requested they be given until the November 15th, and it was granted they were to leave by mid-November. 
They did indeed leave, leaving behind their family's generational assets. Number two. Today we'll continue on talking about ways that our ancestors lost their 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 land through mob violence, where they just came in and took your land uh, through tax sale, and this this segment is through tax sale. Number two tax sale. The next method used to scheme black people out of their land was tax sales. Tax sales were a way that the land could be taken from its owners and auctioned off. White tax assessors routinely overvalued black owned land, forcing black property owners to bear a heavier tax burden than whites and slowly draining families of earnings. If black owned property became valuable or a black property owner challenged white supremacy, Local officials could simply declare the property tax delinquent and sell it at a tax sale. In these cases, black people would want to stay on their land instead of selling it, but most of them lived on a fixed income. Consequently, many of these homeowners eventually found themselves unable to afford their annual property taxes. Once they were in default, the county would put the property up for auction. This was something that developers used as an advantage when they wanted to access land families didn't want to sell. The story of Evelina Jenkins, a black South Carolina Sea Islands native, offers a case in point. She owned dozens of acres of property, including an entire island, at a time in the early 1970s when land values along the state's coastline were skyrocketing. As a result of the state's pitiful expenditures on colored schools, Miss Jenkins had received only minimal education and never learned to read. Decades of disfranchisement and white control of local government and the courts had taught her that whatever rights and protections it afforded did not apply to her. Even venturing inside the local government offices where people registered for licenses or paid their taxes was an invitation to be mistreated and humiliated and was something to avoid. So Miss Jenkins entrusted a white neighbor who had befriended her to take her annual property tax payments to town for her. But rather than submitting Miss Jenkins's payments, he pocketed them, then waited for her taxes to fall delinquent, whereupon he bought the lien to her property at the county's annual tax auction. Then after the statutory redemption window closed, he gained title to her land holdings, island and all, which he subsequently resold to a developer. In the decades since, the land Jenkins once owned has generated untold amounts of wealth. Houses on the island she once owned today sell for upward of $400,000. Miss Jenkins, though, never saw a dime of it. Rather than leave her children an ample inheritance, she died penniless, forced to live out her last days in her daughter's mobile home. While Miss Jenkins's case was particularly egregious, the legal theft of black land in similar ways was not uncommon. In booming real estate markets like Hilton Head and surrounding Sea Islands, tax sales afforded investors a lucrative opportunity to acquire valuable property for pennies on the dollar. Number three, Torrens Axe. A third method was called the Torrens Axe. The Torrens Axe was based off of the Torrens Systems, which was first used 1858 in Australia. It was developed by Sir Robert Torrens for the purpose of enhancing the certainty of title to land and to simplify dealings involving land. When introduced in the United States, the Torrens Act was supposed to be used to simplify title registry. Instead, it became a loophole that allowed third parties to forcibly remove families from their property through partition sales. Partition sales take place when one of a property's owners wants to sell, but the others don't. The Torrens Act and related rules allowed sales to take place without the notification of family members or other co-owners of the land. Once the sale was made, the rules associated with the Torrens Act protected the buyer from any legal recourse. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
about whether I'm going down there tomorrow. I think I'll sleep on it. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all.